Both players got this out first, so it seems like Free actually has a little bit more optimized but getting that earlier similar there up the movie did. Uh, right. I'm not seeing the side his core yet, so unless, probably, oh, it's built on the mini map for both players. It's kind of hard to see, unfortunately. Yeah. Oh, this is not, not a good move for movie though. Movie Sun is all across the map here, however, that's going to allow Free to get his probes out of movie base. That is actually going to be co completely crucial for Free now, because he knows exactly um, well, he's going to be up there. There's no Jagoon out yet, so you can't really kill that probe off. Oh, but here comes his all up the ramp. Ooh, the, nice all at the top will have the advantage. He does run in. He does run in. And so let's see how many probe kills movie can get. Movie going to get all, almost one. He's going to keep chasing that probe, or he's going to uh, try to keep being annoying here. Yeah, honestly, this is just like a really beefy scout. Mm -hmm. Oh, so, and hold that, hold on to that thought. Looks like that probe actually got one. Free got a probe kill somehow. Huh? Interesting. Wow. Ooh. So this is just going to be really annoying for free. Right. Now that there's uh, two zealots inside of the base here. Right, and it doesn't really help that free actually lost his probe, so the movie could like change his build up completely right now. Even though right. free had yet to lose any probes, it's not really too bad for him. Oh, he does gonna, he's going to kill that probe. Oh, that's, okay. So just a little bit of a uh, of a loss there and mm -hmm. some harassing, but nothing too major. Free's still doing fine. Yeah, both players are doing fine. Both players are getting their uh, range. Uh, hold on a thought there. We're gonna see Free take that early Citadel. So we're gonna, we can support with who the DTs. Right. And this does look like a DT style build. It's gonna be like Goon DT. <laughs> oh, and, and the other hand, Movie's gonna get his, his uh, robotic facility out. So if, Mo if Movie gets that Observer Bay out in time, he's gonna be quite ahead right now. He should be yeah. able to actually even safely expand off of that. Cause it's not like Free's gonna be able to pressure once that ops get out. Hmm. Yeah. But on the other hand, it gives room for Free to. To expand as well. And we're going to see movie to add on an additional gateway here. This is really interesting because I'm trying to figure out what Free is actually going for here. He, he has two oh, gates down, I guess, in small his base. Gate here Free, but I think he's going to add to challenges. Actually, oh my goodness, look at that. Wow, he will be able to push up this ramp. Oh my goodness. Really good targeting so far. One's out of the bed here coming out for Dragoons back. Free. Oh, nice target for him down by Free there. He's going to get both your goons out. It's going to be something you coming in. Pros are being pulled off the line here. Oh, wow. And that's it's still, good, good still alive. Though, movie. This is a good decision. He's still so alive. How? That's all of his life. So tall. We're trying to get a surround off. He's actually going to lose another goon here. He only has pros to defend against the two goons inside the main base. Movie is oh going to get goodness. one pros. This is just this is terrible for movie. It's terrible. There's another goon there. And what's even worse is that there's still no observer facility. So that when Free sends a DC across the map, it's going to be GG. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> and the dragoon makes it out. <laughs> This is uh, this is probably like the worst luck for movie possible. It looked like he was gonna have a really nice surround with his uh, with his probes. He had him in a really nice spot, but somehow they just managed to squeeze out there. I guess the you know free covered him in cocoa butter before he sent them in, <laughs> so he could just slip out of anything. Yeah, we we're gonna have free expansion. You're gonna send two DT across the map. The observatory is actually not done yet, so it's gonna, it's gonna be a little bit late here, and I'm really uh, worried for movie here. He only has two units, and if Free decide to go for the jugular right now. Oh, she's just gonna do two goons off those two gateways, so he should be fine. As long as he realizes that the DTs are there and like start to block his own ramp. Yeah, oh, but no, the mistake for free! Here. He shouldn't be attacking them. Oh, oh no. my goodness, that, that a huge mistake for free. Huge mistake. But it looks like um, movie's gonna let the DTs get inside the main base here. There's the observer out after you. There's the observer out. Movie's not even need the micro really micro out of his life there. He he's not allowed to pull the probes again. He really needs his probes this time to work as efficiently as possible. But no, he's just relying on Dragoon Micro. Oh, so this is not good. Actually, he's going to save both Dragoons. Or he's going to get one. He needs to get that one more hit. Not more. Okay, the trade. There's two, two, two Dragoons inside of uh, Movie's main base with those. But there's still that Observer out. So Movie just needs to make sure he can keep defending. But he's going to have to figure out a way to get out of this. Because right now, Free is just trading equally, if not better. And remember, he has that expansion up already. Movie needs to pull his probes. He can't just defend right. this as long as he can. He, he pulled his probes too late this time, and I think I think he really needed to get them out earlier if he wanted to be able to defend against us. Three Dragoons is really tough. And uh, he's only sending a small group, and this chasing isn't going to work for movie. He's losing just so much in his economy. He hasn't even been able to afford to drop down a third gate. Right. And so make... the, re the Reaver should be popping out very shortly because he already got his Observer. 
Oh, oh nice! Reaver comes out for movie. Now he's gonna get a nice first check coming up there. Oh my goodness, that Reaver's gonna be able to hold for a while, but like you said, movie just simply taking way too much damage already. I mean, he's gonna be playing the catch-up game. However, and he, he doesn't have a he doesn't have a natural base. He got you. Oh, this is really brave from Movie. He's gonna try to expand right now. That pro somehow magically survives. But, I mean, that Reaver needs to be protected. Right now, Free has too much of coming across the map here. He's gonna try to right. snipe. Oh, what is this? Oh, this is a miss. My oh, my goodness. Oh, the Dragoon is gonna go down. No, that yeah, was a miss rally. Movie knows that no matter what, this Nexus has to survive. Right. There's there's no way he can play the catch up game if he doesn't take this natural base. You know what? You know that what? was a really nice hit right. from that scarab there. You know what movie should do? He should pull, actually pull a couple of probes off the line just to buffer for his reavers, so <laughs> that he at least has time to get the dragon kind of. Actually, it looks like Free's going to abandon that. He has nothing to, to challenge against that reaver, so he's just going to pull back, macro up, play safely. And remember, like he's he's in no pressure to actually kill off uh, movie because he has a huge advantage. Right. Like he, he he could even safely take his third right now, and movie has nothing to challenge. Yeah, and you you know what he's gonna do is uh, is freeze just gonna go ahead and skip reverse and switch to that Templar tech, so he he can get storm out a lot quicker, and storm will combat those reavers pretty good. Right. They have nice casting range. Ooh, that's a nice pylon planted there by Free. There's gonna be a yeah, that's, there scout. that's a good scouting pylon for drops. That's exactly what it's there for. I don't see any other reason. Mm -hmm. And it looks like Free just has a probe in the middle of the map. I'm wondering if he's gonna use that to like plant pylons at movies expansion just to uh, scout when that's gonna happen. It looks like Free actually now got his first uh, observer out. He could try to chase away movies observer, but it looks like that observer still stays alive. That gateway count is looking so strong for uh, for Free right now. Mm -hmm. That, that's going to be a huge issue for for movie. Right. However, is that a shuttle moving across the map? Oh, that's an observer. I can't really... That's an observer. I'm trying to look at the mini-map. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, both players are just going to be content with Macri right now. Like, Freak could have just taken a third right now and just completely be able to get away with it. Not, there's no way movie can challenge. There's, movie doesn't even have a shuttle. I don't, I don't agree with him taking a third, though. I think he can win off two bases. And Freak's probably thinking the same thing. He has such a higher uh, uh, account and production facilities. He's got the Zealot Leg Enhancement upgrade finish now. So, he can engage on that Reaver really quickly. If there's no shuttle micro, he could just, you know, bum rush the Reaver and take it out. One more, one more shot. Oh, looks like Movie's gonna snipe that, that uh, observer there. Hold on there, BTR. Like you said, Free has that leg upgrade on those cells, and they're gonna start pushing through to make that natural here. Is Free gonna commit to it? That Reaver has no defenses except for a couple of Dragoons. Actually, looks like Free's gonna dive into it. He's gonna get another shot off. Someone's gonna kill one Dragoon here. Now's the thing that wow. Movie needs to defend his natural here. Looks like Free has simply too many units, and Movie does GG. That, that was a bad response for Movie. Honestly, he, he needed to do something risky like pull his probes, but the problem is, if you're pulling probes to fight Dragoons that are about to get hit with Reaver Scarabs, it, it's just not not good. <laughs> you know what Movie should have done is hold on to that net. Don't let expand a wave right now with that natural. Actually go for a shuttle and try to do some economic damage yourself. Only just yeah. to slow free down a little bit, then take that uh, expansion. Because then at least you have that shuttle, the Reaver and the shuttle threat. While you take that expansion, and Freeze can be forced to pull back. Yeah, if if that second wave of attack with with the two DTs didn't do quite as severe, actually, I let's go ahead and go even further back. I think that first pull with the probes, he pulled uh, about eighty percent of his workers mm -hmm. that should have been mining to deal with that. Right. And as soon as it wasn't effective. He needed to to put way more on the mineral line and just take a few losses on his probes. Because right. really, that, that immediate income is going to be much more important than losing four probes as you wait for your Dragoons to come out. And I think the other thing to take note is that when Movie sent out his first two Zealots, like he was trying to chase probes, right? And then like try to trade effectively with Free's Zealots. Because when Free decided to move across the map with his first unit, he had two extra Zealots against Movie's two Dragoons and a Zealot, right? Right. He had that extra Zealot, and he was able to still like beat Movie up the ramp. That that shouldn't be happening at all, and basically yeah. that's where the entire game started to spiral out of control for Movie, just losing his own ramp control. Well, that that huge advantage came from the fact that he he brought two Zealots into Freeze base, right, and tried to take out probes and lost them, right, and and then he's just down an army. 
It, it, it's just a great show of how in PvP, it is so important that you match army supply. <laughs> oh, you can you can send one zealot out. Like I, have, I thought what Moody was going to do is just like only make one zealot and then use that to be just to be annoying. Because he was being quite annoying, and he did kill off Freeze Guard and uh, Probe quite quickly. So he should have had the, he had the advantage there, just that he overcommitted, I think, to that Zelda harassment. And Free right. just got complete advantage of that. So, I mean, props to Free for, for good decision making there in that game. And the movie just never recovered, basically. Yeah, and, and I wonder if that we're just going to continue to see this level of uh, decision making. Um, just a notch above the uh, movie, it seems like. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be Heartbreak Ridge, which is Proxy Ridge. <laughs> Cheese Ridge. Cheese Ridge. So, uh, so on this two-player map, I wonder, I wonder which player is going to be bold enough to cheese the other, po uh, other player. I think it'll be free. That's going to go for the cheese because he has a one map advantage. And if he knows, like he, he knows he's the people he's the better player than Louis. He can definitely take advantage of that. Yeah. yeah. Like disrespect your opponent, play cheesy. Don't, don't respect them. Yeah, I don't see DTs being an effective opener um, uh. on this map. It's definitely going to be some kind of reaper place, reaper drop, yeah. maybe, or slow reaper pushes. The the map just allows it so well. Mm -hmm. Right. Well, I I called that this uh, this series of games was probably only going to last an hour. <laughs> well, it's good for me. I can go back to watching Dota. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Pepsi. I know. I'm really rooting for Pepsi now. No, I, I don't even drink soda. I made me want to buy a bottle of Pepsi. It's working. Yeah. If that's what happens. Who invented Forge Facts Expand? I don't think it was actually either of those players. It was someone else, actually. Because well, Forge Facts Expand only really happened when the map started to allow for it. Yeah, it was actually a, a different protest player. I can't think of the name off the top of my head. Right. Um, maybe maybe Kingdom or someone. Um, but yeah, it, Forge Fast Expand was was invented a, a while before, uh, you know, even even Bisu made his uh, style of Zerg popular. Right. But what Bisu did. Is he showed you how a player with great micro can win with Corsair control mm -hmm. while simultaneously throwing an invisible unit into a Zerg base that has no overlords. <laughs> right. Yeah. So that MOBA game, Vainglory, the one that they're showing all the time, Here. Uh, they actually play, play Vainglory uh, professional tournaments. After after the Brood War matches on OGN, you know I think they just uh, that's one of those like games where developers pay for the uh, TV time in like the tournaments. It it might be, so but there was right. a crowd because... in the stands for people watching it. It's just like a new game hype. I, I don't like I don't consider it an esport. Yeah, it, well, it's, a, it's on a it's on a flipping phone. It is. It is. It was, it was pretty hilarious to be watching them, like, tapping with two fingers the, the touch yeah, screens in front of them. Yeah, that's man. That's just spamming your phone. Right. I mean, if you want to play a MOBA, you might as well play League of Legends or Dota. Or even Heroes of the Storm. Like, yeah. Play a, play a real MOBA. You see, look at him now. Hit, hit the, uh, the <laughs> with the finger. <laughs> Yeah, one of the teams has a girl on it. Wow. She's like the toss girl, Vainglory. Vainglory. World Invitational. World Invitational. <laughs> Speaking of Hot 6, like, MVP is still alive in the oh, DI5. Their career's hope. They too old Empire earlier today. Are you reading something from the chat here? I'm sorry, I was off my own. Play goal. CS? And I did have team practice right before this cast, so. You getting better? Uh, I think our Dust 2 
as a team is getting a little bit better. Yeah. The biggest issues I'm having is that uh, we're still a little bit uncoordinated with mm -hmm. our uh, A takes. And, you just need I'll, to turn a, a auto targeting on so nah, you don't have to. Point that's your not how it there. works, man. That's not how it works. <laughs> and then the other issue is that like my mid my big guys in CT they're not talking enough. It's my, which is a huge problem for me. So. Which teams are their favorite for Dota? So, historically in Dota, China has always had the strongest teams. Um, if you look now, like C Deck, E Home is the strongest right now. I think Vici Games is actually playing for elimination against Cloud9. But like the top two, the top two teams, like not I'll say it's actually like EG, which is an American team, and then Secret, which is like a American European mix. Those would be like the top teams. And then yeah, like. Oh. Yeah. I'm always a big fan of uh, complexity, so I'm excited to see them competing in the mm -hmm. in the bracket. Right. Well, complexity did lose 2-0 to e Secret, and I do blame that DDoS for the first game loss because complexity had a huge game, uh, advantage, and you saw that EQ was actually tilted in game. But with, within that hour and a half break, they figured out how to beat like complexity early game oriented lineup and actually take it to the late game and put it out there. Yeah, that's a substantial break. <laughs> it is. <laughs> to, to talk about everything. Yeah, you, you got an hour and a half just to strategize how you're going to get to the late game. That's like huge. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, it was like, like if movies just had those, uh, like, four, four Dragoons at a third, like, at, back at a snapper, you wouldn't actually be able to hold on to the back, I think. We also pulled probes as well. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe he would have all you know suffered even more losses though, and that that's the problem. As long as he's pulling probes, free is winning the game. Right. Yeah. Well, Team Secret is like a mixture of like ex Navi, ex uh, old fanatic, uh, ex C9, like ex uh, EG. So they took the cream with the crop and just went together. Yeah, so, you, so you got Puppy, S4, e, uh, Arteezy, Zai, and Kuroki on Secret. Oh, white dude. Yeah, I think that's Greg, actually. <laughs> Greg. Awesome. Yeah, it might What's be Greg. Greg? Shut yeah, up. It might have been Greg, because he, he actually goes actively now to the game, doesn't he? Um, I know that he, he was lives at the last there. game. He was, he was at the last game with one other TL poster, right. and uh, they give a good shout out to Sail and Scan. <laughs> oh yeah, Scan had that poster, right? Well, no, I know I know Scan had a poster, but there was, on their poster they had a shout out to Scan. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna go live to the second games here, ladies and gentlemen. It's gonna be Freeze gonna be up one game, and we're coming to Heartbreak Rage, also known as Pete. Protoss Ridge, Cheese Ridge, Crusted Cheese Ridge, Crusted Cheese Ridge, Shredded Cheese Ridge, Tear and Break Ridge. Uh, <laughs> I guess I'll just stop it. Tear Face Ridge. Tear Face Ridge. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna have in the left, right, so the right side of the map at the 3 o'clock location, we're gonna have Free and then SD Teal Toss, and we're gonna have Movie at the Brown Toss, Protoss, SD 9 o'clock on the left side of the map. Yeah, so early prediction here. Uh, who do you think is going to win between Mind and Bisu? I have to give it Mind. Yeah? He's kind of on a roll, isn't he? It's, I would have to give it a 3 2 Mind. It's going to be 3 2. It's going to take three hours long the entire series. <laughs> it's going to be epic. Well, he doesn't have Avalon or Demian to beat Bisu on. He doesn't need Avalon or Demian. You need that against Zergs. Just <laughs> abuse it. Yeah. Here, here's the deal. I think. Uh, I think Mind is one on a tear, and two, he has shown that he has really good strategizing before this series even begins. Oh yeah, his his, pre his preparation for matches are exactly. I think he has the best preparation of any player. Right. So, yeah. But, but, but however, do we even know the maps that, that can be used for KSL? Um, you mean the maps for the SSL? KSL. KSL? No, we don't know the KSL maps. Alright, that's okay. Let's get back to the game here, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to have Free and Movie. We're going to both take their gateways. And it looks like Free's going to quickly check for a hidden pylon there by Movie. Not going to see anything so he can move across the map here. 
Maybe we should take his, both players taking their gas now at the same time. Nothing too fancy yet. We have yet to see any deviations from each other's builds. Yeah, this is probably going to be just a, a one gate robo build. And then uh, one gate then a robo? few more gates after. So we're going to say Cyber Dinosaur coming out down for movie here. No Cyber Dinosaur yet for free though. Look how he wants for the pylon before the core. And I have no yeah, idea it's what definitely that. definitely possible. <laughs> I have no idea what that just said. So you guys, someone from chat's gonna have to entertain me on that. Okay, still no cyber next core. Oh, 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 we're gonna see free gonna get a little bit cheeky here. He's gonna put no, a so that's on. what he was saving his uh, minerals for. It actually, he's gonna trap two probes. It's actually a lot for a pylon. That's a really nice mana pylon. It is. Because normally when you do a mana pylon, you only get to trap one probe, or at least like just be annoying with the mining path. But trapping two probes, there's fantastic. Yeah, and it's gonna take a, a significant amount of time for them to kill off that uh, pylon. He does let it finish, mm -hmm. and now there's a zealot out to kill it off. He's looking though. There's he's looking for another opportunity to drop down an additional pylon. So the cyber next core is about 30 seconds late though. I wonder oh, how. Oh, unless you're gonna get another mana pylon. That should. All right, it's not gonna block any probes there, but it's gonna affect that two one probe that's mining from that patch. Yeah. Along the wrong Basically, way. essentially blocking off an entire. Oh, block. another mining mana probe coming in from free here. You know it's gonna sing, this is gonna signal to the movie that free could do something super cheesy, but yet at the right. same time it seems like free has yet to show anything cheesy. So I mean he can still commit to like being. Uh... Oh whoa 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 whoa! Oh, oh that thought. No way! He's gonna put a pylon in there. What do you Did think? Did movie not see that probe? <gasps> oh, movie my. was so distracted by this. <laughs> oh my goodness! Oh, I, I bet you it's gonna be DT's. It's it's definitely possible because because <laughs> you don't generally want to put your robot time timing behind that far. Oh, it looks like Movie's going to commit to DTs right now. You guys are going to go one gate DTs here, but free has that probe inside the main base. Movie doesn't even know. This is oh, you're going to get it. He's going to see it. He's going to see it. Oh see it. no! Does he see it? Oh, he has to see it on the main map at least. Oh, this is this is terrible for Movie. This is build going to be completely revealed. You're going to see the Citadel and the gate and the gate core range come up right now. Oh my goodness, Free can just counter strap this immediately. <laughs> right. That's really cool. I like that he put the probe there, so even though he didn't try and proxy inside of the base, <laughs> which is what we were all secretly hoping for. So it's going to be 3 gate robo build, and this is a really solid build for any Protoss player. 3 gate robo is one of the safest. Isn't that going to directly counter this... Uh... One gate DT. Yes, yeah, so it'll deal with this because he should be able to get his observer out of time, and he will have a dragoon lead too. So right. the problem with this build is that unless there's economic damage, uh, movie could fall behind because free can can basically contest any natural base that movie tries to take. Yeah, hold on, that fuck. We're gonna see a little bit of skirmish here outside of free's natural base. We're gonna see uh, two dragoons here. Gonna chase chase on that one of free dragoons here. However, there's a zealot getting annoying here. And hold that thought here. Actually, it looks like maybe has a little bit of a micro advantage here. Getting an extra shot off. Oh, it looks like Free's going to save that there. Oh, he's going to get one oh, shot down. And it looks like Free's going to be bullied back into his own bay base here. If he scans to see that there's no uh, Citadel yet, he should just cancel the force side of his own main base. Looks like Louis still going to keep charging in here. Free's going to pull all three pulls off the line here. Just to buffer a little bit. He's actually going to lose another Dragoon here. Is he going to lose that third Dragoon here? Oh, Free's right around his mind. Louis is going to lose one, one mineral. One zealot. I can't even talk. <laughs> my lips are sealed. He's gonna get that. Come on, get that. You can't no, no. Record. <laughs> come on, come on, Zola. You can do. No, you can do it. You can do it. Come, 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 come. Ah! Oh, oh, but it does survive. So finally, the micro does pay off for free. He does survive here. Oh, and look at that, bitch! Is that good? Did you see that? The Ooh, natural expanding off of one gate and two cannons. I don't think he can hold. He can hold. Uh, he has to. No, he, he can't hold because the free can't challenge. Because free has no observers yet. Well, yeah, free can't challenge until the observer is out, but if he has enough to defend against the DT, then free can go ahead and send four or five Dragoons down to the natural base. And try <laughs> Look what's happening! Are you going to glitch that DT through? Are you going to glitch that DT through? Oh, that probe's going to see it. comes the beautiful glitch. He just uh, basically blade walked across that mineral patch. And what's even better is that free actually noticed... 
saw this happening with the probe. So you're going to see, and you're going to see, have two observers that he's natural there. So this DT is going to go down immediately. However, he's going to get that one probe kill, so that's not too bad. And there's the Hype Templar out for movie. This is really, really greedy. This is actually one of the greediest builds I've seen come out of the movie. It, we're seeing like uh, we're we're seeing a Forge Expand style play right here, really. Yeah, this is so. <laughs> we're, we're oh, with, uh, oh, with like Templar and cannons. Movie's gonna glitch his own probe through that backdoor mineral lock. However, the observer does see it, so that's gonna oh, get sniped off immediately hot. by Dragoon. And I'm wondering how Free is gonna take abuse this early expansion with minimal gateways. Quite honestly, if Free just goes for a drop right now, there's going to be very little movie has to defend against it. Yeah, drop drop play is an option, but he could also drop down two more gates and and uh, go five gate basically off these two bases. And, and the thing I don't like about this is that movie is playing so greedy without any no, no type of scouting. Like, if he just kept that probe alive, just kept it say, in front of... Uh, Freeze natural. At least you will know when Freeze can move out. At least understand like what's Freeze army comp going to look like. Like what's his gun count or what's his well cell count going to be. He's going to have two more gateways pop up immediately. He can start producing more army out of this. And he does have four right. high templars, but that's just so little. Well, it, it's very little for now. But Freeze going to uh, his his basically advantage is going to slip away very quickly here because the high templar have been out and gaining a lot of energy. And the fact that uh, he has tons of probes, he's been really uh, macroing up tons of probes between his main and natural. Right. So Free's economic uh, economy is just going to kick in. And the fact that he has enough gates to counter Free at this point, I, I really think the game has kind of equalized. Yeah, I, I think it has equalized. Free's going to get three more additional gateways here. And Moody has no observers yet, so he can't really scout this at the moment. Right, and actually, one of, one of the better ways to counter these high Templar instead of dragoons is is zealot speed, because you can get in there quicker. And of course, a high Templar does not want to cast storm on top of itself to deal with a zealot. Right, Free is going to be researching plus one weapons right now, and I'm wondering which player is going to make the first move now. That Free has two high Templars out on his own right now, so you can get some de deadly storms on those high Templars. That might be able to spell doom for a movie. And at the, at the same time, Moody's going to get four gateways down right now. He's going to be researching ob range, range for his Dragoons. At the same time, Free's going to be moving his Dragoons across the map here. There is no high Templar support, though. Yeah, I wonder how willing either player is going to be to take a third base. I, I think this could be a, a, um, basically where they're comfortable sitting up oh. these two, two base economy. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Little scurvy through the middle map there outside of movie's natural. Movie's gonna lose that observer, not be able to snipe freeze observer who gets away with like a couple health. So lucky there. And looks like the movie just mined out his back door. Oh, uh, yeah, it looks like he did. Yeah, it looks like he did. He's gonna expand right now. Interesting choice there. Is he can barely hold on to his natural, but just at the same time, I don't know if he has enough to defend both locations. I mean, you can right. Try, but well, well I mean, push. Free's not up, applying any pressure here, and, and he's just going to try and get a few storms, whittle down the shields on the dragoons, try and weaken them a bit. But right. okay, a decent amount of zealots are out because this is what uh, Free really needs to help deal with this army of movie. Mm -hmm. But he, a movie doesn't have a big enough army here, and if he gets flanked and caught off guard. Um, then it will just dispel disaster for him. Alright, so we're gonna have a skirmish here on the little map here. There's the first storm there. That's not really a good storm, actually, for movie. At the same time, movie's gonna be sending out a uh, shuttle across the map here. It's gonna have two high time players and a zealot inside. If the movie can get a good storm off, that's gonna be huge. I mean, it's gonna be. Yeah, and there's a pylon kind of out to the bottom of the map. But oh, I got scouted. Nice pylon. Okay, there we go. Nice pylon scout there. What's, what's, what's Free's gonna reaction gonna be? He's gonna send some of these units back inside his main base here. He needs to not let his units get stormed. Oh, oh storm. storm, storm, storm. Looks like... Oh, nice storm there. Good storm there for movie. You're going to catch a couple probes there. The second storm is going to be okay. You, you know what, though? Uh, Free did a bad pull with his probes. He could just pull them to the top right, and he wouldn't have had any of them get hit by that storm. Oh, how do you get enough for a storm there? You're going to get the third storm. I'm going to kill off even more probes there. Oh, wow. This drop with so much more damage than it was supposed to do. Yeah, I mean, that, movie that just helped help help bounce himself ahead a little bit. I mean, he's giving himself map skills, giving himself time. His third is coming at the same time as free is, and at the same, and this is nice for movie though, because he's not able to get some of that time just to build up his own army. 
It looks like Free might be. Oh, it looks like Free does have his plus one weapon stack now. Just finished, and his Lex Speed is finished as well here. At the same time, Mui does have his. Actually, they're on they're the same thing. They're both on equal ground, army wise. Yeah, these these players are 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 pretty even right now. All right, now hold that on, BTA. Going to be looking two, two for on attack coming in out here for for Mui and Free. There, good storms coming in for Free. Oh, that was a huge there. storm. Oh, oh nice second storm there actually as well. Looks like Mui's gonna get the better of this engagement here. He has the better storm control coming out. Nice storm on the top of those regrins here by Free there. Oh, not, not a nice storm coming out from Mui. Too, not a nice storm coming out there. He's gonna get a high tumbler out of that storm. Looks like Free can be pushed back here. Mui's just taking map control right now. He has his superior army control here. Especially with his better storms. Look at, look at another gauge army there. Gonna be an okay storm there. Actually, oh, what a nice storm. All oh, storms, oh, storms wow, everywhere. Really good. More storms coming out there. Actually, getting really nice storms off. And however, neither of them know where to micro their army. Right. However, but look, look at the, look at the army here, advantage. It looks like Movie has a significant advantage to free right now. Right. I mean, free just has to free has to fall back. He has, he's nothing to defend against it. I mean, Movie's just been landing better storms than than what free did. He had the high high time block out. And look at this. Free's already pushed back all the way to his natural. Movie's gonna try to end this game right now. He definitely could. More and before and Mubi's uh, investment in a ton of gateways, um, right when he took his third base, is really paying off too. Because I think he had that higher gateway count for for a minute or two there too. Right. And what's even better than BC Dagger? The DT. The DTs. DT taking oh, out the Sight Templar. Oh, the... gonna have to do a sacrificial storm. Oh, Still not able good. to take it out. But oh. it's uh, it's always beautiful when you see a Protoss player come in with that late game DT. Uh, Tyrannical Free does has plus one on his weapon. It looks like at the same. Looks like Movie's gonna lose a DT there. Sorry, lose a high jump to DT. Yeah, both players do have plus one. I wonder, oh, actually, uh, we're gonna see the uh, for a second. Um, we're gonna see the uh, the mineral counter at the bottom right here, BC Dagger. It looks like Movie actually has a twenty army food count advantage. That's yeah. massive. Massive advantage movie has. Yeah, absolutely. Showing that he does have that superior macro. So behind that uh, heavy, heavy battle that we just saw, mm -hmm. uh, Free was really focusing on getting units back. Mm -hmm. Right. And I mean, this is going to be a huge issue. Movie's going to be moving out again for another attack. He does actually have an observer with him, so any assassination DT should be blocked off, essentially. So what I didn't like about that last battle for, for Free is that he was trying to storm and focus on a really small group of units that was uh, kind of separate from the main army of Movie. Right. Meanwhile, Movie was fo was only had to focus on one main area against Free. And right. so that's where his storms paid off a lot more. Right. Would you, I, I would like to see that Free draws in Movie's army into one center location right. so that way he can be more effective against it. And you're thing to note about that, that Free actually had a two prong attack going at the same time. So like, movie, if he wanted to, he could have tried to storm that choke, that choke point on the right side of that engagement, but he was very smart right. and actually saved the storm until he, he makes sure he get the most surface damage done. Actually, hold that thought there, BC Dagger. Look at me, under a big engagement here. Nice storm coming out for Free. To, oh my goodness, nice double star coming out there from movie there. Going to snipe a high time, we're actually going to get two high timers out of that. Very nice. Wow, storms for movie's movie. doing great job of getting his storms in just the right spot. Wow. But that is a huge zealot count for free. That is huge, but I mean, Zelda, I mean, Zelda against Zelda can only do so much. Like just the storms is gonna give movie the advantage every time. Free has to do something. It you know be... what I'd like to see is either player either start getting drops back in this game or taking small groups of zealots and counterattacking, trying to harass the economy of the other player. Those yeah. kinds of distractions are what could really help you get a lead in the game. Right. Not necessarily doing heavy economic damage, but really taking the attention and spreading it across the map. But I don't think Free could actually even get a drop in. Like he just has complete map control and map vision at the same time. Like he has zealots on the top of the map, just like scouting up whatever random stuff he can can. And but however, you do say that Free could actually come back. He gets a dark ar dark uh, dark archon and tries to go for a millstorm. Yeah, that might be one of his saving graces here. I mean, we're gonna see Mu take his fourth at the uh, six o'clock right now, and Free has can't even challenge. It's like he's just com completely on the back foot there. Oh, but it does look like the supply count is starting to even up, and both players that well, Free just really wants to stall until he can reach that max army. Right. And both players still only on three bases too. Mm -hmm. uh, I imagine the main's going to be running low, if not dried out, for either player. And uh, that that contesting for a fourth base is going to get really fun because right. players can either expand. Uh, to the top or bottom, where, where the 11 and the and the 4 clock is, or are they going to take the, the 6 and the 12? Right, I'd like to thank uh, Ingenuity for correcting me. It was actually, I was thinking about the feedback, actually. 
Though you could mailstorm the Templars and then storm it. That would work too. Like the idea I had is that you could mailstorm like uh, movies, high Templar clumps, and then just make sure, then try to win the engagement from there. Okay, that would work. Then you could save your storm for like the other engagement. Then once you win that engagement, you could then surround that mailstorm. So it looks like Free Crash is going to expand, take his fourth now here. And looks like Luis got distracted by this result run by like you said, like this is actually quite effective for free. I mean, this, oh my goodness, look at this beast dagger, he's gonna kill oh, all those. Oh yeah, this is exactly what I was talking about. These little zealot run bites are gonna be so important. Oh my goodness, movie is losing all these probes. He needs to pull them off. Yeah, this is a uh, pretty significant. That was that was a recent transfer from his main base, and he does not want to lose this uh, this mining capability here. Uh, but can he hold this base? It looks like units are just coming in now to clean this up. And that is a ton of cannons being dropped in to help deal with uh, the the warping in Nexus for free. Yeah, but that, the problem with that is that because Mui pulled all his units to defend there, this game free complete map control. And he's going to get the better engagement. Huh? Now we're going to do another big right, engagement in the middle of the map here. Nice storm coming out for Mui. Oh my goodness, Mui with these storms, man, are insane. More storms coming out here. We've got more storms. All these storms across the middle of the map here. I can't even tell who's winning right now. It looks like Mui's actually coming out ahead. I can't oh, believe this! But there was a few crucial storms there for uh, Free Again that really did whittle down Movie. I wonder if a second wave of reinforcements from Free can combat Movie, or is the lead just too big? 20 supplies oh. ahead right now, and growing. Right, I mean, Free's just not, just Free's not hitting the storms at all, man. Like, Oh, no, that oh, was beautiful, the oh, storm again. He just, he just evened it up completely. His Dispendix right. Advantage and the re-macroed High Templar coming in there. Like I said earlier, in the middle of the map, it looked like the storms, while didn't kill anything, weakened down Movie's army significantly. Movie just got overconfident there, moved his units by just looking, hey, I've got a ton of units, instead of actually assessing how many of those units in his control groups were damaged. Damaged. Right. And then he lost his huge advantage there. Alright. That is completely true there, BC Dagger. I mean, it looks like another engagement actually happened in the fourth here. Is Louis going to be pos posing himself to take that fourth? At the top. And it looks like Free is going to set himself to defend. Oh, nice cautionary storm. They're going to back it off a little bit. <laughs> I mean, do I blood here? Just like moving up, like man, macho it up. <laughs> yep. It's just like each other in the middle of the map, like storm behind each other. <laughs> oh, nice storm to coming out for free. They're actually gonna do a lot more damage. I thought it would be. And look doing. at that, plus three is done for free. Free oh, wants these engagements now because he's gonna be doing so much DPS. Oh, from storm! Oh, nice storm! Oh, but plus three is actually done for a movie too. So both of these guys have even upgrades in the attack advantage here. Well, actually, both well, both players actually had plus three for a while. That last big engagement, they both had plus three. Oh, I, I didn't realize that. I thought plus three just finished up. Nah. They, these players have been on equal footing with like upgrades-wise for a while, but it looks like... That is pretty impressive. I mean, once again, like they're, they're trading equally right now these engagements, so Free's actually starting to cl slowly get himself back into this game. And But like you said, like I think Free actually needs to do more harassment right now. More harassment. And Movie's gonna be taking his fifth at the bottom right here. Does Free even know about it? Oh, oh, oh nice assassination DT. You're gonna get one high time, but you're gonna get second one. Oh, oh great ooh. job. Not not there yet. Totally worth it for that DT. And looks oh, like here comes another no, push into no, the natural base. No, look, Movie's going storm fishing. He's gonna whiff. Oh, not good storm. You're gonna lose two high time points for that. I don't think it only did some damage. Yeah, Free will gladly take that. Ooh. Nice storm there for Free. They're actually gonna soften up a lot of the zealots. Yeah, that that will definitely make those uh, zealots squishy. <laughs> right. So something they have to worry about here. Those zealots can engage so quickly. You want to make sure you can whittle them down. Mm -hmm. Storms are very effective against them. Oh, nice storm there, thunder by right. free movie there. Oh, I think this is a uh, this is gonna be the final movement for for movie. He's gonna try and win this right here. I don't I, know. I don't think movie can win. He can't, he can't I don't it. think he can either. There's just too much here. It's just his defense. He hit the defending advantage is gonna be way too much. Yeah, I mean both players are queuing up on top of their Mac with there, but if movie gets that fifth base off free, like freely, he's just gonna be able to run away with this game here. Yeah, you know what, movie since he's got free in such a clumped up area on the top right of the map, this is where a shuttle would really pay off. Right. He could go for shuttle, drop a few zealots into the main base, and that's really what he has to do. He doesn't even need to drop high tempo. Oh, hold on, I thought they were nice dropping out their movie there. I'm gonna force free back a little bit, and you're gonna snipe that up. I, get that observer. There we go. Okay, nice observer. Oh, wow. There. Look, Looks the like... supply counts have evened up again. Right. I mean, just the, the, both this players is a very, very seesaw game. 
But I'm, I'm a little bit afraid about Mubi's army control here, because he's been losing like a unit left and right that might actually add up, because both supply counts have been so equally even, like, losing the High Templar like there and there might actually hurt a lot. Yeah. And like you said, like, either player, for them to really like win this game out, they need to do some har economic harassment, like, High Templar drop or even like a DT drop would work quite well right now. Or yeah, like, I just like do a zealot. I know you're thinking by. economy, but I'm also thinking, what if he got zealots in and killed off pylons? A supply block for even a minute could really, uh, you know, tip the advantage into one player's favor right. if he wanted to go that route. And we see like this, this, this fantastic macro coming in by three there. Look how how well he keeps the economy up. Actually, his middle, his natural can be completely mined out. He needs to actually take his fifth now immediately to be an equal footing with Mubi. I think Mubi's natural is gonna mine out as well. Yeah, this this is getting to a to an interesting point in the game. A, a fifth base is gonna have to. Be oh, 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 how did Mubi get that DT in? Oh my goodness. Movie's got a huge advantage by having that base at the bottom right, and Free is really falling behind in economy by not having that base. Oh, nice choice there by Movie. There, you're gonna target that robot. Not gonna be able to kill it off though. There's just there to counteract it, but at least he's doing it, doing something. <laughs> at least he attacked the building. Like we need to see shovels right now for either player, right? Because I mean, they're just gonna keep trading them evenly. And, like Free is floating a little bit of extra minerals. I think he's actually gonna try to. Actually, hold yep. that thought but is free is free aware that there's a base at the bottom right? I, I don't think even he know does. if he's aware that movie has a but fit. Looks like free wants to take the top half of the map so he can expand to the top left. Look, look, at, the, look at his mineral count; like he's saving for that. And he, he's already, both players are already maxed out, so the best thing free could do right now is try to take that top left expansion. Or try, right. Or, oh, never mind. Hold that thought. There, we're gonna go have a big engagement in the middle of the map here. Nice storm coming in oh, from both players. Be game oh my goodness! Here. Look at that! Oh my goodness! Look at all the storm coming in from movie. That is huge. Archon's out charging each other middle map here, and oh my goodness! Is Mubi, Mubi guys gonna come out on top of the game and they're charging in right now. This is Archon support. High Tom are just like raising and walking. However, there's another little fight coming in from free there, but the Chagoons are not gonna be able to do nothing against all these Chagoons. But, wow, but this, this that, is that, 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 that run by actually might be able to do something. Oh my goodness, that's Elephant actually can do a lot of damage. Is free gonna come out on top of this? Free actually free comes out on top of the engagement. I can't even believe it, BC Dagger. He has that fifth base. I can't believe it. That's a free fifth base there, and it actually might boom might even lose his own fifth base there as well. I I think I think because it's an even trade that movie should win this. There's no additional nexus for free. Oh, no. he's got to off that, that pylon here and the zealots behind it to be able to take yeah, that. Yeah, I thought I thought movie could win that engagement too because he had the fantastic storms. We noticed that like all the movie really storms, good, but the zealots got into a really good spot. Right, and the, the dragoon targeting was really nice for free. Right, the dragoon free had a fantastic dragoon targeting. Like he had, he, didn't, he had the worst of storms, but that little zealot like flank, just those six zealots like completely won free, free that engagement. Right. And now, Free's gonna be able to take that top left. Movie has nothing to contest it. He needs to make sure he can defend his own bases in the bottom. Now, I think we're actually gonna come out to a situation where both players are gonna have to contest for that middle of the map. Because both players are gonna be mining out. They're both naturals and both mains are mined out. The third's gonna mine out pretty soon. Movie did have that extra Nexus mining at the bottom right, but he's not been able to take advantage of that. Like, Free's been doing favorable trades with just one less base. Right. And if Free can take that advantage, take that top left, like, he actually might be able to eat, uh, get a win out of this. Yeah, it's kind of scary to think that that uh, free down a base was able to macro up and have a higher army, uh, have a higher supply count. As you can see, he's actually in the lead right now, even with oh. one less base. <laughs> I think free didn't realize there was a fifth there. Now I just finally noticed it. I'm wondering if you actually got to be able to click that mineral patch just to see, so you know how long that movie's been mining there. Right, and I and like I said, like. Movie's been mining there for so long, but he can't get anything out of it. Like, Free's been just holding on fantastically with one less base. And the other thing, like, you noticed early on is, like, if Free just did some more, like, harassment right now, like, even, like, a simple Zealot drop in the main base to slow down, like, it would just accelerate him to the front here. Yeah. And if either play could get a High Templar to the 4th or the 5th, uh, just one solid storm would really wipe out Actually, a significant part this is of interesting. Would would that be freeze DT freeze units? What's that? I'm noticing the weapon upgrade, so I think movie actually has uh, plus one armor and plus one shield, whereas freeze just sitting on the uh, plus three weapons. Hmm. And this is gonna be actually this is gonna be huge for movie just having that plus one shield upgrade and that plus one armor just to let his units be a little bit tankier from the storms. 
I mean, I don't. But the food can't even afford to get an upgrade because he needs to keep make sure his macro stays up with right. the movie. Right. And that that shield buff is going to be really nice for the archons that are going to be tanking a lot of the damage. Right. And like that's enough the thing that I think movie actually so might be win down the end game, just having that upgrade advantage because he had that extra base. Oh, nice storm coming in for freedom. Nice second storm coming oh, in there. Wow, there. There's a two, three oh my goodness, huge engagement coming in the middle of the map. Middle of the map outside moving natural. There's gonna be storms all over the base. Ellis right lined up their mark on here. I forget actually a better results around here coming in there. Nice storm coming in this Oh my goodness, look at all these storms coming in from movie once yeah, again. He's got the ridge. If he doesn't lose this ridge, he's gonna have the high ground advantage still in this battle. Right. No, his supply and it looks like I think Free just has better army composition, like this, 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 that DT, where is Movie's Observer? Oh, there's the Observer there. So the DT's gonna come down there. And it looks like both players are gonna trade equally there. Neither player are actually able to do anything out of it. And, but Free's gonna, is Movie gonna try to charge into Free's fifth here? He has to, he wants to stop this game. We're gonna see the first person view coming in from Movie. Movie's gonna actually charge, charge into the fifth right now. Free needs to defend with everything he has right now just to stay alive in this game. A little bit of micro kick coming in. He's gonna lose that Observ Archon. Not so good, actually. Two, three cannons there right now. I the decision for Movie to move in here. He's gonna try and take out this base. But I, if Free does have another army that he can come in here and pin this uh, army in, he should he might be able to take it out and kill off Movie's army. Oh my goodness! He went. He needs to get the Nexus down. I like. Yeah, I don't yeah, care. Like, army. The most he just needs to target Nexus right now. If Movie can take out this Nexus, he will win. Ah, this game. GG. Oh my goodness! <laughs> what a game! That that fifth base was the absolutely the key there. Right. Like that game movie, the the plus the plus one armor advantage, the plus one uh, shield advantage, and it, it let, it let and free ran out of gas sooner than movie did essentially. Like that taking that sneaky fifth would basically help movie. You know, like free was actually starting to come out on engagement with superior right. micro with the superior zealot micro. Because movie had the better storm, but at the same time, free was having to battle at zealot micro because movie was trying to focus too too much on getting those good storms out. So you would say that it's going to be equal, but like, if you're going to have Zealots against Dragoons in that kind of late game situation, like, the Zealots are going to win out, because they have the light speed, and they're going to be tankier than those Dragoons. So, I, I think Free needs to, like, realize that if Movie's still able to, like, might map with the same amount he has, maybe you should start to sort of realize sooner that there was that uh, extra, uh, extra base. Yeah. And, and yeah. to put on top of that, if either, if Free even, like, tried to go for a, a, a shuttle harassment, he would have noticed that fifth base way earlier. And done and, something and the different. The thing is, the Heartbreak Ridge isn't a big map. You should always have a, a free observer that isn't with the army going around and scouting and just constantly just reminding you of what the map looks like, where your opponent is, the positioning. You mm -hmm. shouldn't just rely on your observer being uh, with your core army. Right. I just like how this commercial, like all these white people on it, even though they're advertising the Korean drink. Right. <laughs> Man. Well, that was a really good game, too. That was a fantastic game, too. We are now had the series tied up one to one. If we can have the rest of the, uh, the three games be like that, that'd be like one of the best PvP series I've ever seen. Yeah, for sure. This is that was a great way to uh, for movie to come back, make the game, make the series exciting. And yeah, that was a very bold opening for him, and it you paid off. It pay off. It paid off. Like I don't know how, but it just paid off. Like it's being so greedy like that. Right. With just <laughs> cannons and like high templars that like just don't even have storms yet. That's just it just it just worked. Yeah, I think uh, I think Free underestimated Movie in that game because he really had a timing where he could have put a lot of pressure and denied that natural. Yeah, I think he actually could like dive into those cannons. Like like you said, dive into those cannons like just win from there. He had the superior army. Right. I mean, what's what's what high templars are gonna do if they have no storms? It's yeah, be that, like that's, three that's where against, he, he did not take advantage of the fact that he had the three gate timing. Yeah, and I and I think Free didn't want to scout because Movie uh, showed his hand and actually went for the uh, the big DTs. Right. Well, he actually went for the DTs, so and I think Free just played it safely there, which allowed uh, Movie to be quite greedy. Yeah, well, we're going to be on the Mancha next, and, right. and that's going to be a fun drop oh, map. I, I feel like that's both players are going to go straight for Shallow Reaver. Right, and I think like with that game and Heartbreak Freight, like you could like any everybody should be like analyzing that just to see if you can get more opinions on like what things could have happened or how things should approach. Because there's a lot of things to talk about for, for both right. players. Right. What like how how did Free survive so many uh, storms? And, right. and a lot of it had to do with positioning. 
right. uh, in his engagements right. and but, where where his extra uh, flanking army was in so many of those battles. That's right. And, my, and here's the question I have though about that: Does Stormlight have a hit have a hit chance like a miss chance on high ground? Uh, I believe that nothing nerfs Storm. Nothing nerfs Storm? Like, you just Storm, it works? That is my opinion that Storm, no matter what, is effective on everything. Yeah, because for me, cause I'm wondering if, like, if those Storms, like, is there, like, a, a mischance because it's a high ground Storm? I'm wondering if that affects anything, because that would help explain, because every time they went for the engagement, Free had the better, like, positioning. And right. You know, movie, like, the thing that movie had going for him was just with the better Storm, storm control and the better economy. So, I like this commercial actually for the power raid. That's pretty cool. Yeah, this is pretty intense. <laughs> Honestly, I don't feel like I need to repel from a building to get my. All right, there's no but... such thing as a high ground storm. Okay, so. so yeah. I, so I mean, that's that's interesting because I think movie could have won that if those storms like the amount of damage those storms did. Like, I'm surprised for free to survive that long. Well, the thing is, the storms did well, but the rest of his army wasn't doing well because he had that low ground disadvantage. Right. And showing how significant it is. Mm -hmm. That's something like a pro player can take into their own games, like in PvPs, like try to engage when you're on the high ground. Even though you might have the, let's say, the worst of storm control, like just having the high ground advantage yeah. helps immensely. So something else to be said about Heartbreak Ridge is the fact that all of your production facilities have to be built inside of the main base. Right. And well, and... You, you can build like a like an off gateway or a robo and like. And the proxy and like the other bases. Yeah, but but I'm saying like if you're going legit non proxy, your your bases are gonna be or all your production facilities are gonna be in your main base. So you've got a macro out of there. It's not like in certain matchups or, or, or in certain maps where you take a, a natural or third and you can build your production facilities, let's say at the third or fourth base, right. as as not just uh, you know for your Sim City, but as another point of remacro. So you have di units coming from different locations, which allows you to close in on armies more efficiently. Right. The other thing I'm wondering is that like, what if like other players like actually switch back to shovel tech, with, like not even like go for the uh, the drop reavers, but like add reavers back into their army composition. Like, yeah. How would that affect the outcome of the game? Um, generally, the player who switches back to Reavers for main army engagements doesn't do as well. Um, when you have that many Dragoons, you can focus on sniping that shuttle off pretty quickly. So you have to have really good control. Mm -hmm. And the cannoning at each base that the players took was in a really good spot to defend the mineral lines. Mm -hmm. So I'm not sure how effective drops, whether High Templar or uh, Reavers, would have been. That's why I kept saying Zealot runbys are going to be the best, right. because they're not as squishy as, let's say, High Templars, and uh, can maybe pick off a few probes at the cost of your Zealots. So it's like the commercial keep repeating stuff. So if I'm actually going to refill my water bottle, I just drank 32 ounces of water in the last game. <laughs> Yeah, I was definitely doubting my drink. Yeah, a lot of talk in there, so we're, we're going to take a quick water break here from the casters, so enjoy these commercials. They seem to be repeating themselves, but this is actually a new one here, so get some Korean pop culture, got to diversize, got to be diverse, you know, all that stuff. Koreans so, in France. Yeah, we'll be right back here, ladies and gentlemen. Just give us a minute break here for the casters, so we can continue to bring some great casting for the next couple of games. No, I don't believe that XKCD was drinking uh, 32 ounces of vodka. <laughs> but that would be pretty funny. I thought about drinking before this match today, but eh. I'm already going to be tired enough to pass out since it's 1 a.m. here on the East Coast. You know, th this is a no splash commercial, Sonic Splash commercial, but I don't mind it. I don't know what she has to do with Heroes of the Storm. If you guys haven't seen, there's a really cool uh, interview for the SSL 10 that Stratos posted on Team Liquid. I have not had a chance to see that. But actually, I, yep. Uh, chat, can one of you, can anyone that's actually watching Dota at the same time, like, let me know what the results are of the game so far? 
for uh, I think it's Cloud Nine versus Fiji. Because I know I know Cloud Nine lost the first game, I think, but I I, I need to know the results, man. <laughs> <laughs> yo, style start Snabu. Oh my goodness, yo! When they started playing that, that was like so mind measuring. Fiji one two zero. Okay. There you go. Eternal Envy will never win TI. Ever. It's a curse. Yeah, they need to bring back the style start Spidoo commercials. <laughs> you know, oh, okay. We're getting the replay here. There are so many different engagements that they need to show here. <laughs> right. I mean, each engagement was so exciting to watch. Like, you just yeah. show them all. It this was a really, really exciting macro PvP. Mm -hmm. Well, too okay. much to uh, take in. All right, all right. So, the white people can still win. You still got secret, and you still got EG. I have faith in them. I have faith in my Pakistani fifteen-year-old Sumail <laughs> boys. Sumail will carry the the hopes of the West on his backs. He's going to defeat all the Chinese overlords. You know, that's actually one of the coolest things about EG is that fact that their, their carry is actually only 15. And he's like one of the best carry players in the world. That sounds like someone else we know from StarCraft. Baby? Flash. That was, but I was Fla just... Flash won his first uh, gold at 15. Yeah, he did. Mm -hmm. well, I was going to say Baby as well, because Baby had like even a, a super young start of a career. Yeah. Yeah, but he flopped. He, he did not look Well, up. I was going to say baby because Sumail hasn't won a TI yet, but he's like the equivalent of winning the gold mouse. So. Flash isn't white. <laughs> <laughs> Touche. Oh, looks like a lot of people are, are taking some restroom breaks. That was quite a long game. That was quite a long game. And I'm, I feel like I'm gonna down like 32 more ounces of water and I have to take like a quick freshman break after the next game. <laughs> Aww, what a cutie! What a cute little baby. And <laughs> before Tasty comes to That's the, the future class girl. <laughs> How do I see the viewers on my phone? Right now I'm just like watching. F I have like a chat open on my phone. Cause like a chat only option, but I can't see the viewers. I'd be kind of sad if Tasteless came back for the PvP. <laughs> Why not? Isn't it a fun PvP to watch? It, it is a pretty fun PvP, but I mean, when you look at the other three matchups, you would think, oh my god, those are the ones that you can't miss. Hmm. I think. But they've been so lopsided. Chance. Like, this is like the least lopsided we had. Yeah. So. I mean. Well, I, I think Movie has the better chance against Hero. To be honest, if it if it comes down to PVZ, so yeah, which I would agree done that. Then I would have to root for Hero so we don't get the. Uh, I think we would just simply get crushed in the finals if he beats Free right. and if he beats uh, Hero. A part of me really wants Hero versus Mind because the Mind is playing so well, but Hero is is also just on a on a tear in his leagues. So, mm -hmm. I I, I want to see if his new ZBT is really that good, or if Monk he just has Monk's number. Hmm. All right, so we're gonna go over here to live in the game three number here, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it's amazing this case city along here, BC Dagger. We already had an exhilarating two games so far. It should be one one for both players, so it can be a best of three now, equal footing here on La Mancha. Actually, we're gonna have three as the yellow tear in the top left. And we're going to have Movie as the Red Tear in the bottom left. Yeah, that's a that was an exhausting game too. And in a series that could go all the way to game 5, uh, Stanima is going to play a big part in the, coming down the line. Right. And I, here's the thing though, like, we were talking about how like last game could allow for cheesy builds. Like, I feel like for this game, both players are opting to be played safe. Only because yeah. like it's easier for both players to go through the late game. So if they feel like their late game is like up to par with each other, then they might just see, just go for it, see what happens. 
Yeah, and, and movie really, he was not even a step behind free in that macro game. Mm -hmm. Right. Are we going to see another DT opener? I wouldn't be surprised if movie went for another DT opener. Yeah. Because it looks well, like, you know, DT openers are, are, are pretty solid. They are. You can either, um, you know, use your DT defensively if it doesn't work out, or straight up win the game, depening on how your player, your opponent opens. Wow, that but, place is stacked. Even more white people. I love it. <laughs> All these white people. Yeah. You know, we really should visit Korea. Like, I don't know how we're going to get like, the cast and just be there as fans, but... Well, I, make... I'm thinking that we're going to get ESPN to make a documentary on us. <laughs> and, and they're going to sponsor us going to Korea, and they're going to follow us with the camera. And... <laughs> You, you should try to talk to little Susie again about that OGN deal. I know, seriously. You should. Now that we have three casters, too. Um, in that video that I was watching, the epilogue video mm -hmm. um, that I was telling you about, right. they were talking about how it's important to have three casters right. because of the dynamic. Like, one of them is the goofball, one of them is the serious analysis, and the other one kind of mediates the whole thing. Right. So, so I, well, I, you I can't be like, goof on me. You gotta work on your jokes. All your jokes have been terrible puns, and only I can understand. I have to put up with you each time you say it. <laughs> hey, I can make my jokes better, but I mean, you got you got to work on that if we ever have to go to Korea. Our audience is, is whoa, whoa. We're gonna see another. Okay, looks like Free gonna pull out his mana pile on tech ones in. He actually has to trap one probe in. So this is pretty good coming out for free, and he's gonna send a Zelda across the map here. Movie is. I already has a Zelda out, so it's not going to be too diff pad here. You should actually try to kill that probe. Oh my goodness, that probe gets glitched out. actually going to get glitched out. The movie's going to kill it immediately. Not good for free. And I think you're going to have to cancel those pylons. Yeah. I'm surprised that free is going for this again. We actually saw it kind of hurt him in the in the last game. Right. Tech but, is kind of tech is really important in uh, PvP, mm -hmm. and so the the cost of these pylons is really setting you behind in tech. Mm -hmm. Right. So it is going to be goon range for movie, mm -hmm. and I I feel like he's going to go for a heavy uh, uh, three gate pressure here too. Right. You know, movie could always just cancel that goon range once you kill off this pylon and throw. But if actually or sell it, might be, it might be too late though. It looks like movie might have to commit to doing like a heavier goon build. I wouldn't blame him for that. We're going to see free actually throw another gateway inside of this uh, main base here. If you can see it from the mini map. So let's see what he does with that. Is this free gun he'll go for like a four, four gateway play, or you're gonna go for a three gate robo? Right. We have yet to see. But you can only be losing two pylons though, so it's gonna be quite a bit of a little setback. Yeah. So he does have two gates. Um, the Citadel is not down yet, so he's not rushing right into the DTs. Um, I think he's gonna just uh, gateway expand. I, I bet you that's what he's gonna go for here. I wouldn't do it. This is gonna be way too risky. We're actually we're gonna see a citadel come out from free. Well, okay, so he does drop down the citadel after we were just trying to analyze what he would do if he doesn't have the citadel. <laughs> well, that's okay, man. I mean, things happen. We gotta, we gotta adapt on the fly, you know. And we're gonna see. Yeah. I think move. So move is gonna drop the robo. He's gonna get gateway. So actually gonna go for the safest two gate robo play here. Yeah. Movies. Oh, hold that thought. Best. He actually built a third gate, so he's gonna be a three gate robo. It's actually gonna. If free commits to DT, movie should come out on the head of this. He's gonna have the observer out in time. Yeah. Three three gate robo is standard and it's a really good follow up here to uh, defense against the uh, DTs. Mm -hmm. He's gonna have plenty of army out. Right. And but at the same time, like it's gonna give free can try to go for that uh, cannon expand. There's nothing mm -hmm. stopping him from doing that. <laughs> it just looks so silly with that last game, but it just worked. <laughs> I, I'm so curious that, that that both players in all these games are going for that fast singularity charge upgrade for the Dragoons mm -hmm. when there there are times where, depending on the map, players would want to just skip that upgrade so they get to get Reaver tech out really quickly and go for Reaver harassment, but it seems like we're not going to see that play ever. Alright, hold that thought, B-Tech. We're going to have an engagement here in the middle of the map. Both players actually have equal amount of Dragoons. They're actually, how did Free lose a Dragoon? What? That was really nice focus fire, and it looks like the Zelda's gonna get taken out too. Yeah, both players are gonna lose the Zelda there, but Free lost the Jagoon. I can't believe it. But it's oh, it's but he is oh. getting damage on top of that one remaining goon inside the natural base here. Oh. The whole will have to happen. There's just way too much coming out here from the gateways of movie now. 
And uh, Defender's Advantage is going to play a role. The Observer's out too. And I don't know how uh, how Free would be able to sneak DTs in now that the Observer's out. And he is going to go for that expansion. Right. So I like that he's going for the faster natural. But there's going to be a lot of pressure from Movie, and Movie might be able to go ahead and force a cancel here if he continues oh my to that pressure. Movie hit the three to good advantage here. So I think he's actually going to try to push this all the way in to observe it there. So he absolutely should. This is kind of what Movie needed to, or Free needed to do. The last oh, game. the DT's going to get spotted there by the observer there, and it's, the gamble's up for Free. I don't, he doesn't have enough units to defend. Movie's just going to be able to win this out of Superior Micro. Oh, he should have held on to those DTs. That was a mistake. What you need to do is bring those DTs in once you have a better surround with your probes on those Dragoons. Because mm -hmm. he's going to have to absolutely pull probes to deal with this. Alright, we're going to see Free going to pull probes off the middle line here. And I think what Movie's going to make sure he doesn't get surrounded by those probes here. And just kill off the Dragoon. Oh my goodness, yeah, Movie's going to get on Dragoon kill. a little in a corner here, but the losses are way too significant at this point. Right. This is going to be GG. And the four Dragoon advantage coming in for a Movie there. Free's going to tap out GG. GG. That that Nexus was such a bad idea for free. It really was. And I think I, I don't even know why he went for DT again. <laughs> no, I think what no here's what free tried to do. So he saw that movie went for a DT uh, expand, right? He thought he could try to replicate that. However, movie went for the exact counter build. Like I maybe movie like try to mind game it, but like, he's probably thinking, you know, my DT expand build works really well. I think free might try to do it. I'm actually going to go for the three gate robo. Right. We, we need to remember that free actually like put down two mana pylons. And normally when you do like a mana pylon at the in the product versus put off, you're, you're signaling that you're going to do something stupid, stupid or something cheesy, right? So maybe we just went for the straight up three gate robo. You know, just play standard, play safe. You know, don't do anything fancy, and you just won with a superior uh, macro. Sorry, it's a superior army army count. Right. I, I feel like because we were talking about how Free's the superior player, why hasn't he gone three eight Robo every game? <laughs> it, it's That's a right. build that has proven solid and will ensure you basically uh, mid game, possibly late game play, just because of how good of an opener it is. Right. You know, to be fair though, I think Free actually went for the three eight Robo the first map, and he went for it the second map. He did open up with the uh, the observers, and he did have like a high dragoon count in both games. So right. I, I don't have a clear memory of it, but oh, I'm pretty well, sure. Okay. The the difference though is the three gate robo in the second game was very delayed because he went for the proxy. He went for the manor pylon right. and later uh, cybernetics core. But regardless, right. it took him into a late game, which is the point. That's a build that that is solid enough to get you into the mid and late game. It's his fault that he lost. Right. Um, you know, su uh, such a late macro game in, uh, against Movie on Heartbreak Ridge. Yep. So we're going to see Movie come out here with a 200 bleed actually over Free. And Free's going to be actually going to be on the back foot right now. And, and just, for, just to be fair, I have to say this. I'm already 0 and 3 for my predictions so far. <laughs> 0 and, and 3? Yes. Oh my god. Is this caster's curse? Oh my god, man. That is pretty terrible. Well, go ahead and continue to keep saying that mine's going to be Bisu. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm going to write like an article about how Bisu's going to win the SSL. Because it's, it's, hey, it it's not be an beautiful. OSL, and then, it's gonna, <laughs> and then Bisu's going to think in the OSL that he's going to lose it. Watch that happen. Watch that happen. Yeah. Well, well, B Bisu's in an interesting position here, too, where, look at this stat. If Bisu has never lost to a Zerg or a Protoss in a Finals, he has only lost to a Terran, which happened to be mine. But if he defeats mine and makes it to the Finals, he's guaranteed a victory, because he doesn't lose against the, uh, the other races. I want to watch this movie. This looks like a cool movie. Yeah, not bad. Not bad. I'm wondering if someone's going to subtitle it, sub, sub it, some like band group or something. Yeah, so if if movie defeats Hero, the possibility of a PvP after all of this, can you believe that? <laughs> can you believe that, uh, that thinking about a PvP could be possible? And especially one with movie in it? Hmm. That would be weird. Yeah, I really thought he was like the second weakest Protoss compared to uh, Olympus. <laughs> uh, 
Huh. Who are these guys? Starcraft 2 players? What are they doing on my Brood War stream? Shy, get these guys out of here. <laughs> you, okay, you mentioned something during during the games that that I wanted to point out. In StarCraft 2, you can't click the mineral patches to see how much they've been mined out. Oh my god, that I, I, was play, I was playing Legacy of the Void, and I went to click the mineral patches to like read read how much has been taken out. You can't see it. The gas, you you can't see, you can't click on the geyser and like see the best bean count or anything. That is so retarded. Isn't that ridiculous? Ridiculous. <laughs> Man, how, how are you supposed to know when your opponent has expanded there? Oh, those mineral patches look a little bit smaller, I think. <laughs> but that, that, that's the point. Like you 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 click on the mineral patches, right, to understand your opponent's build even more because you can say, oh, they did an early expansion. I know that their army counts to be a little bit lower, or. They took this expansion like immediately, so you know I go for a different route. Like these are like yeah. interest, in, like the the detail, of the brood, it makes it so great. You can't just take that away. Oh, someone says they think it's an in-game setting. Well, it better be. Oh, it better okay. be. But that's retarded if that's by default that they hide that information. It's the same thing where like you don't see your your like you don't see the general um, hotkey selections on the bottom right for all your like all your building selections. They only give you like a cheat sheet unless you go into the UI and like remove the cheat sheet so you can see like the normal uh, selections when you have a worker selected or something. Oh my god! It, it's terrible. <laughs> they really are trying to baby this down for people. That's but that's an argument for another day. Oh, go go ahead and uh, make a mod for like Hyrule Gambit or something so he can moderate this chat. Uh, yeah, let's do it. Hyrule Gambit, I officially announce you as a mod. You know, I do have some other mods, but dude, those guys probably don't care. I believe Hyrule's a, a mod on my channel too. Yeah, we'll we'll, we'll promote him. I think he's yeah. done a great job. Yeah. Don't give it to that pesky K KT fan though, Blind Briar. He needs to. <laughs> <laughs> he he needs to be humiliated. But we do appreciate his stats, Blind Briar. Thank you. <laughs> Whoa, your name is all white. I can't even see it, dude. <laughs> That's a fun story. That is, that's, you know how, like, you know we're software developers, right? So, that white name, it's a zero, it's a, it's a zero day security exploit of Twitch. Really? Yeah. So, you know when Twitch first came out with Turbo? Yeah. And they had the, so Turbo, they, but one of the cool features about Turbo, you could set any color you want using a slider. Yeah. However, since they were, they weren't doing server side verification of the uh, colors, they were only doing client side, so they'd be, they'll just accept any range from the client side. You can yeah. uh, force edit the attribute of the slider and change the CSS colors, like the hex colors, to be whatever you want. And then That's the awesome. servers would accept it, and then they fixed it like later that day. So I have never changed my color yet, and I've already been like harassed, banned out of a couple channels for refusing to do it. Wow. <laughs> but, I mean, like most people use like uh, use like better Twitch, and they make their Twitch like completely dark, cut dark mode anyway, so it doesn't matter. Yeah. Like, if you're not using better Twitch, then you guys are missing out. Like, it's the best Twitch plugin ever. Well, I'm gonna give you, like, the, the dark mode version of Twitch. Which is, like, so much better on your eyes and everything. That's interesting. I haven't used any plugins for Twitch. Yeah, look it up. Call it better Twitch. Better Twitch. Yeah, it comes with all these, like, new... new... Do, does it just send you to YouTube streaming? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, it, it does none of that. Yeah, I know. It feels good, man. You, and then make sure to also install Franker Z emotes. You gotta have that. The better Twitch cheap. So if uh, if if the next game that's gonna be played, Bisu versus Mind, is uh, gonna be played on a Wednesday, then we will not have another cast with Sale through the rest of this tournament, which is really sad. Wait, wait, whoa, whoa, Sale's on vacation again. No, no, because it's all Wednesday casts from here on out. But the finals are going to be on a Sunday. 
Uh, oh, I didn't see that. Okay. Yeah. So we will have a triple cast to uh, conclude. Dude, that'd be sweet. I'm excited for us to, to get all three of us on the finals. I, we're going to have to work on a synergy there, you know? Like, I think I sh I'm going to be the... I don't know. You're going to be the goofball, and then we have Sale be, I guess... The the serious one or the mediator? Dude, hell no! I'm gonna study. I'm gonna study all these build orders, and I'm gonna just throw all these technical bombs at you guys. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if you're gonna do that, make sure to update Liquipedia so you know the build orders are correct and everything. Right. <laughs> you know, do, do your part as a Team Liquid citizen. I thought we had a good time doing the icy cup thing, though. Or not the icy cup, the TLC thing. Yeah. I was out of town last weekend, so I wasn't able to cast it, but... Yeah. That I, dandy I was, versus... That, yeah. that funny versus the Dwoski was hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Game number four here. Everything on the line for free. Movie might advance. He does have that 2-1 lead. Mm -hmm. As we go into our Jade. fourth match, it's going to be Neo Jade. Jade. All righty. Here in the bottom left as the yellow Protoss, we are going to have free. It's gonna be there. You free. go, ladies and gentlemen. Free. We're gonna be back in the back foot down two one, and in top right, sorry, top left, we're gonna have movie at the red Protoss being up two one. So here's the thing: the, since movie's up uh, two one, and if he feels confident on the last map, should he try to take a chance and do something like out of out of the ordinary? Or should we just try to stick to his game plan? Well, this is a map where you could proxy two games. <laughs> that is true. And build build it relatively close, but the problem is it's kind of a gamble um, if you don't do like a mid map type proxy. Mm -hmm. So it it looks uh, like he's he's gonna build the pylon in his main base, not gonna be going for shenanigans. Yeah, both uh, are gonna build the pylon in main bases, so we're not gonna see any proxies yet. Right, so but, but movie does have the disadvantage when it comes to the drop game because of the spawns. So if if free does go for for reaver drop play, his uh, shuttle's gonna be going in a direction that's really advantageous. Mm -hmm. So but for gateways down for both players at the same time. All right. I can't say much more than that, unfortunately. Yeah, we're gonna see the gas go down. It's always a good indicator of, of what's to come. So movie got his gas down. Looks like Free is delaying his gas by a probe. So we're gonna see that slight deviation happen already. Right. So both players now have their gas down. We're gonna have movie a little bit of faster gas here. Let's so with the faster gas over the probe, we might be able to speculate that it could be a DT build. Mm -hmm. And I have no idea what that sign says. I need, a, I, I, need a, a, I need a I resident heard. Korean in here. Supernova <laughs> Maniac, where are you? We need your translation services. Uh, he, he, it had a question mark, so I'm guessing it said, will XKCD make a correct prediction in the round of four? No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, it's like, once you go full-blown casters, like, you just, you're going to have that caster curse. So is your liquid bet just going to hell, too? <laughs> it, it went to hell uh, after the KSL. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm, I'm floating in the top. I, there. I went from rank two to rank 100 in two weeks. <laughs> That's how bad Liquid Bet went. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> hey, I mean, it happens, you know. Yeah. Okay, Actual so Zell, a Zell coming out for free. Yeah. So uh, Zell's out for free. He here. got the later gas, so I, obviously he's gonna go for something a little bit more mineral heavy. Mm -hmm. I'm wondering what's in that movie's natural. Is that a pilot? Oh, oh yeah, shit. DTs again. Like like I said, because he did get that faster uh, assimilator. It's kind of funny how getting a probe before your assimilator, a 10 second difference, really could indicate a particular build. So the the range upgrade is going down for free, and uh, he's going the same opener oh, that he's really the first few. Nicely done by Moody. Moody's gonna actually get inside a free main base. So you're gonna see at least the gateway. I wonder if he saw that. Cybernetic core spinning. Yeah, he didn't see any other tech. But I, I imagine that the robo is going to come down for free. And if he doesn't go for Observer, then this could be obviously deadly. 
You know what's interesting about that Fort Pylon? I think what Moby's gonna do is gonna do the exact same thing he did in game two. Is you go for the DTs and use the DT option select where he, if he can, he can do a lot of damage. If he can't, he's just gonna expand off of it, like put those floors down immediately or something like that. And right. we're gonna see Free actually take a, a one gate robot right now, so he's gonna have to either go for the, the Reavers or you're gonna go for the early observers once again. At least be safe from those DTs. Mm. And here we're gonna see Free actually gonna try to sneak in a probe here and make it. No, no way, don't tell me this, the Dragon's not gonna see it. Oh my goodness, BD Dagger, how did that Dragon not see it? How did that see it? Oh, now it sees it. Okay, okay. And it looks like that Zell is blocking that ramp. Nicely done. Oh, man, that pro really wants to get inside. <laughs> yeah, but... But Free should know that something's up, because that Dragoon count was only one. He only saw one during one Zell, so he, he should be thinking, hmm, maybe we're gonna try gonna go for those DTs once again. Yeah. And, we, and we're gonna see, actually, Free's gonna throw down two more gateways. So you're gonna go for the, th uh, the three-gate robo. However, the first two TTs are out, and the Observatory Bay is only, like, three-quarters of the way done. Uh, I think he's gonna be safe. It's you, a pretty far distance to get inside of the main base of, uh, of Free. So right now, the build order is actually looking pretty solid for Free. With that gateway advantage, if he can deal with these DTs, he can go ahead and apply pressure. You know how you were talking about the possibility of, of taking a natural, mm -hmm. um, but but things could could not work out for movie here, and it could far delay that natural. Oh my goodness, all right, the DTs are not being spotted by Free. They're free, you're going to move his units back into his own main base. Then. Where is the Observer? Oh my goodness, Free, need to pull your units back more. Uh, to, don't let yeah, the DTs get Free shots up. Where is the Observer? Oh my goodness, okay, Observer is not finding the spot. Free cannot start to re-engage here. Is Free going to pull a couple probes on? He actually might need to. Just to deal with the uh, movie units. What if this dragoons got chased away by by uh by the dragoons? Of, yeah, uh, and, and what? There's a dragoon in the middle of the map. All right, dragoons gonna be taking free props out to some of the movies reinforcement there. This is also the main base. They're actually gonna take that dra dragoon down. Nice to dump free there. Just to be quite known there. However, it looks like free's gonna hold. Free's gonna hold only because that random dragoon in the middle of the map. <laughs> Oh man, yeah, that that kind of hurt that Free didn't have that uh, Dragoon available to him, but it looks like the attack that movie tried to go for really didn't work out. Um, it, it's, it's just showing that these days that DTs aren't something that are, are killing blows. This opening DT build order is not an auto win, unless your opponent is going to go for fast reavers, which we haven't seen yet, so... Um, still, it seems that movie's in this game fine. He's he's not really that far behind for the for the direction that he went in, and we'll probably have high templars coming out soon. Right, and there's already that forward pile on there, so I mean, you could already see movie had no problems just like throwing the cannons down before the nexus just to be extra safe. I and, do like that free threw down the nexus yeah, right away. His natural base. This is a smart play by free there, and we're gonna see movie take down his uh. And actually, at the same time, so both players are going to be expanding off each other. Wow. We're going to see that Movie's going to, Free's going to have the superior army count for now, but Movie does have that DT and that high Templar tech, which he can definitely make use of right now. Yes. Yeah, it's, it's going to be it's going to be pretty interesting. But Free, as long as he continues to macro out of his gateways, uh, could try and and uh, put a contain, maybe even just a soft contain on that natural base. Mm -hmm. And, and oh, oh uh, Reaver's coming out for Free there. This is actually a quite deviation from Method Free's game. I right. want to see Free use this Reaver effectively. Just go for some Reaver drops right now. And uh, well, I think that, that's the only way that Free can catch up on tech because he did not go for the uh, the Templar route. And he's going to have to use Reavers to, to win the mid game mm -hmm. because the High Templars will ultimately win the late game for uh, for movie. So right. he's really got to use these Reavers effectively. Oh, and uh, like I said earlier, because of the spawn position, the shuttle traps are going to be that much more effective since uh, there is a scouting pylon, but really trying to bring your army from the natural or third base into the main is, uh, is going to be a long route. And can he respond in time to keep his probes alive? All right. And here's the thing, though. Movie actually got uh, the, the robotics uh, support bay at the same time as well. So we're going to see Movie definitely has the opportunity to go for Reavers himself here. I'm wondering if we're going to see some, like, Reavers and Reavers battle. We're going to see some some of that cellar micro come into play. And we've already seen, actually, Movie's uh, position three of his dragoons at his third base for the anti-shuttle. Right. Like, just so, try to snipe any shuttles that come out there. Why Why go Reavers, though? I mean, and, unless... Unless, uh... He, movie is sensing that he really needs reavers to defend 
why go for it? Because it's such a heavy gas investment, and he already has high Templars available to him, and he can get them out quicker. I don't, I don't necessarily agree with him going for Reavers. Mm. You know, I think what Mui's trying to do here with those Reavers is that if he if he, he, can, he can go for the earlier third, he might want to take that extra third faster so that he can use the Reavers. He has to use the Reavers to defend it. But here we're going to see a little engagement here at the third of movie here, actually. We're going to see the Reavers drop down. Actually, oh my goodness, that movie almost sniped that shuttle down. Wow, wow, just one, sh one hit left on that shuttle and it would have gone down six health remaining. Oh my god. That's a, a really ambitious shuttle deciding to just run in there ahead of ah, time. Ah, we're going to see a big engagement coming in outside of the movie. Nitro here, we're going to see Jagoon. They're going to come and drop the ramp there. That second Jagoon, that Jagoon from movie is completely out of push there. Actually, movie's going to free gun charging to, to, to kill it off. Can he do it? The three free birds have been taking actually way too many shots. Oh my goodness, look at that. Both are killed each other. Oh, the Reavers are Reavers down. Off. Looks like it's just going to be Dragoon on Dragoon battle here. And, and Free has a huge is just a little bit increased count. favor, but it's going to be just enough. However, there's another move, fresh new Reaver coming out now for a movie there. However, it's going to be on low ground, and there until Shulk's protected. Is Free going to oh, keep Free's committed? overextending, though. He's kind of putting himself in a really weird position. If movie pulls his probes right now, he could trap all the Dragoons, and Free could lose his army. But regardless, it looks like Free's going to lose a lot of his Dragoons. And playing into movie's hand right now, he just lost a lot of units because of Defender's advantage. And Free needed to be a lot more clever about that. Right. Like, if Free, Free won that initial engagement, and like like you said, I think he pushed too far in it. But here's the thing, though. Like... Free, I think they paired equally in the end though because Free lost a couple of units, so they're both fine. And I think, oh my, actually, hang on. What, what I would have liked to have seen Free do uh, is instead take the Dragoons, run them over to the probes. He could have gotten three or four probe kills and gotten out with maybe the similar losses or less. So trying to damage a little bit of the economy would have been more effective. But of course, are pro kills really that important when you have more than uh, you need of probes mining at your main base? So he's oversaturated at the main and fully saturated at the natural base. Not a concern as far as mining is concerned here. And a third base is going to be pretty necessary for both these players as you can see the main base is getting low on uh, minerals. Mm -hmm. And I mean, both players just being, seem to be content with just holding their own uh, ramps right now. I mean, movie does have two shuttles that is natural, but he has not no sorry two reaver. He has not shuttles to support it, and it looks like free is just now getting his uh, high tempo attack. And like you said, like if what if free what if movie had a uh, high tempo for storm instead of uh, reavers that engagement? Right, because storm absolutely could have been researched and could have been out at that time, and then he would have had this huge high Templar advantage. Mm -hmm. And it looks like we're gonna see movie starting to push across the map here. It looks like he be supposed to take free third. I, I think what you have to think about with the Reaver's impact for Movie in that initial battle is the fact that it takes a lot of focus from the Dragoons um, to try and take down that Reaver first. Mm -hmm. And since the Reaver takes quite a few more hits than a High Templar does to go down, um, for that, since that was so much of Free's focus, oh. it allowed the Dragoons to do some heavy damage. Hold um, that thought there, BC Dagger. We're going to see another big engagement here. Looks like Movie thinking he's actually trying to go for the kill here. There's the Dragoons there. Oh, nice pickup there by both players, actually. Gonna be Ooh, oh, he lost the Juke Shuttle there. Oh, my goodness. Movie lost the Shuttle. He's going to lose one Reaver already. Looks like he's going to be forced back immediately. He lost the second Reaver as well. Wow. Wow. Really good for Free here. Just completely defending this. A really bad option for Movie to try and push in here, where it's a small choke point. It's not effective, and now he's getting chased into the lower ground. And Free's going to be able to just do even more damage as he chases away. Oh my Mubi. goodness! Like Free still has Mubi, Free still has the shuttle alive and make even better sense. Like Movie completely lost an engagement, so Free can just trade equally right now in the middle of the map. He's using his army advantage right now to push Movie back away. And I think he's going to give uh, Free uh, a free third right now. Yeah, this is. Oh, hang on, that that we're going to see a DC drop inside of Free's base. Movie's main base there. Oh, 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 oh my goodness! How did Movie scout that? That was because, oh, because the GT swiped at the Zealot. It auto attacked the Zealot. Oh and my goodness! Give free. away the fact that he was inside that base. Oh, oh my! What look, look at look at Free's of Sim City. Movie can't even get inside the probe line. Oh my Ruby goodness! Ruby, like Ruby's is blocking Free from getting inside that probe line. Look, fantastic, Sim City. Defense. Oh this is my DT goodness. defense 101 right here that movie's showing us. Well, ah, uh, this is a huge overcommitment coming in for, for movie there. We're going to see Free. We're actually starting oh, to engage him. He's a natural right now. Position. 
But but Ruby doesn't have his army, all of his army. Neither There's, free does. Oh, the Reavers are lagging behind really far. I wonder where he's gonna drop them. Can he uh, even get them onto the front line here? Okay, the Reavers. Oh are my goodness, their shots see. are gonna be so crucial here. Movies, movies, movies Reaver completely out of Reaver place here. A shuttle at the bottom of the ramp, not doing anything. Oh my goodness, just having that Reaver completely out of place and the entire army out of place, gonna let uh, Free just march into this, this natural here. And this is he actually gonna kill like off the Reaver with the high number five? Archon? XKCD. And I think this is gonna be game. The movie has nothing to hold. I think we're gonna go to a game number five here, ladies and gentlemen. Those two, those two reavers still alive on the high ground. All those are getting the buffer for it. On one of those reavers. Oh my goodness! Nine kills and five kills, thirteen kills total. That that new reaver from movie gonna go down pretty soon. We're gonna have a archon morph on the low ground as well here. And free movie just lost complete control of his ramp. He can't even push up it correctly. There's too many dragoons there, and there's two reavers there to, to provide support. I think wow. this is gonna be game. Yeah, th this seems undefensible at this point. Oh, we're gonna see a little GG run by at the, at the natural here for for free, but I don't think it's gonna be enough though. Is Reaver gonna lose that natural? Oh my goodness, Reaver gonna lose that Reaver. He's gonna lose the high tumbler as well. Movie has nothing. Oh, the only high tech ah, units remaining for Movie are gonna be taken out. A giant GG as Free takes it to game number five. What a close series we're seeing. That was a. Yeah, Woo! that's a that's a, a game where we can easily pinpoint what changed, <laughs> what cost Movie the game. Oh my god, it's how tired has he looked this entire series? Mm. He's been constantly rubbing his eyes. And and Free, who looked stressed out after game number two, and even more war-torn after game number three, is really showing that he has a little bit more life here. Mm. That is true. So we're going back on, on the Circuit Breaker for game number five. The big, giant map, lots of space. How is this going to work out? Is a player going to open with a DT style build again? I think we're going to see three gate opening, uh, uh, three gate robo again for both players. You know, I just want to go for that uh, long macro game again. Do, right. Do a repeat of Heartbreak Ridge. There's even more bases now, so it's going to be quite even more interesting. And I mean, for for anything for free than movie that game, like movie had a good idea, but it's just that he lost crucial engagements early on. And, it's, and especially his army, like, control, like, he had superior, like, a fantastic army control, like, in the other maps. But, like, in this, just, in this game, like, it just seemed out of place. And Free, like, took complete advantage of it. Right. Like, have, oh, having I, your, I, having I, your I, Reavers I, lagging I, behind is not a good thing. Like, losing your shuttle, like, right. right away, like, you can't let that happen. At all. Especially if the Reaver drop in it, like, what, at least, at the very least, like, we could have seen Mui drop that Reaver before he lost that shuttle. So maybe that Reaver could have fired off at least one more shot before going down. Well, both players showed us that they have terrible uh, shuttle control. <laughs> I don't know. Free shuttle control is pretty good in that game. Like, I mean, it was, it was a little scary moment where you almost lost that shuttle in the first big engagement, but you kept it alive like throughout the rest of the game, which helped him to, uh, to power through that natural and, and win the right. game. Yeah, I, I can't believe that DT put his ar whole entire army out of, out of position for the defense there. It would have been an entirely different battle if he had all of his units on top of the ramp mm -hmm. inside the natural base. Hmm. More DTs. <laughs> I think we're going to see more DTs, ladies and gentlemen. The question is, who will do it? Is he going to be Mong again for the third, fifth game, fourth game now, or are going to be free, mixing it up? Or will we see actually a double DTs coming out for both players for the base trade? Ho, ho, ho. All right, well, I will be right back as we watch these commercials. Is that your dog? It is. Right. He woke up. I got to go take care of this. No, I'm pretty sure that shuttle stayed alive. Pretty sure that shuttle stayed alive. It was like at like 2 HP and still survived. It was just movie that lost the shuttles. Pretty sure. You know, I, 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 I if you read the, uh, the round of 8 preview, I have 3 winning 3 2. So hopefully, it's, that still happens. Only because I need to not go like zero and four in my predictions. <laughs> we need to laugh and stock the fall of staffers. Huh. We'll have to check the VODs later. Or even better if they release replay packs. 
So we're gonna have uh, Beastie Dagger come back pretty soon. Like I'm doing some business with the dogs, feed them, give them some water. <laughs> no, he's not being there. You wouldn't even qualify. He's not good enough for it. Yeah, I do want to give a great thanks to OGN for putting a high quality Twitch stream so we can uh, quote unquote borrow for the English cast here. So we have high quality mods and of course high quality streams all at the same time. Yeah, Team Liquid is not going to sponsor Scan. No way. That's not happening. Scan sponsor. Woo. We don't have the power. Like if, if like we don't, I don't think Team Liquid.net has any power to sponsor. That's that's on Team Liquid Pro for all the sponsorship stuff. Yeah, talking a whole different ball game. Yeah. They're the ones with all the money. Yeah, feel that net has no money. <laughs> I know. This, I know this for a fact. They have no money. I hear only like three people on TL that net gets paid minimally. That's why we need to take TL and go premium. If you want to post more than a hundred times per day, you're gonna to have to up your your uh, TL to TL Super Plus. Well, that's a, that's a discussion, long discussion of what can be done. <laughs> I, mean, I have my ideas, but the admins will hate me for it, so I can't do it. <laughs> oh, team help pyramid scheme. <laughs> <laughs> so, guys, everything we do is worth it because we get sweet ass icons. <laughs> that's what it's for. Are you kidding? My calendar slash purse looking icon is like the greatest thing. I've ever seen. You had that like like four years. You never got upgraded from it. <laughs> yeah, you gotta reevaluate your choices, man. Uh, people are talking about high high post count people. Uh, Shellbot is definitely one of the people. Shellshock. Yeah, blind hits 16k. I think uh, I only have 10k, so that's not enough. Blinder has a ton more than yeah. that. There's He's a couple like uh, He's in the 30s or 40s. Yeah, I believe... Hmm. Who else is a high count? Conadora. No, Cadaver. Cadaver is like 24k plus something. Yeah. There's a lot of those uh, those StarCraft 2 LR people that became staff members with a ton of posts. Yeah. And it, but, but here's the thing. Bridge War has the better LR posts because we got the CSS tricks. They're still doing That's the right. old school tech stuff. Ha! Ha! <laughs> That's something that the CSGO staff has brought to Team Liquid. Higher quality LR threads. Thank you. Thank you. You, sir, deserve a medal. No, I don't. Uh, I will call it the Bisu medal. No. For anybody who just shows excellence and handsomeness. <laughs> we have to wait until we cast in person for that to happen. <laughs> Yeah, see, this is one of my problems to say you want to be a caster if like OG and a career. You have to cast like crappy games like this. It's like, I, I really don't want to, you know? Yeah. And then there you have. You're, you're, you're the GSL counts, uh, caster for not just StarCraft, but for, you know, phone, uh, phone MOBAs. World of Tanks. Yeah. <laughs> Remember when Tasteless and Artos decided to do World of Tanks? <laughs> oh my god, that was terrible. But yeah, you're, yeah, you're right though, Hyrule. Like, LR threads are the best way to ship post. At the same time, pad your post count. Because you can get away with it. And especially for Brood War, where all the mods that even care about Brood War still on TL are so lenient. It's fantastic. Like StarCraft 2 mods are like so like uptight about, you know, breaking form rules, if you know it's an LR thread. So. Right. 
<laughs> Alright, you just have your dog join the cast, you know? Let's just do it. I'm hearing that you panting know, once again. You know, I, I, my dog is 15 years old, but he smells like he died three years ago. <laughs> it, it's just, it's something that when you get to a certain age, you can't get rid of. Yeah. And apparently he's out of breath because he moved like one foot and had to lay back down. Oh, he's like what? 15 times 7 is uh, 25, so he's grandpa. He's like, he could have like four generations of kids already, man. I know, but we cut his ball sack off, so we're good. Well, why would you new to him? That's not cool. Hey, man. You can't have all this procreating. Yeah, but who's gonna who's gonna procreate with? Like, do you have like a female dog in the house as well, or? You're, you're right. He's not attractive. No dog wants to sleep with him. <laughs> you didn't have to worry about that. <laughs> uh, that's, that I think this is getting uh, way too uh, suggestive <laughs> for uh, a brood wolf dream. We do have a, a husky though, a Siberian husky female, but she's too good for him. I don't him. know, man. I don't know, I, I think dogs are just a standard of beauties than what we humans do. Yeah, I, I don't know. What what does a dog find a good features in another dog? Like, do they have a good smell from their behind? Oh Is that God. the only thing? Alright, you know what? All right, no more dog talk. It's over. <laughs> it's over. <laughs> Here's the line, and I took it too far. <laughs> okay, the shuttle did die, but I'm talking about the shuttle from like earlier now. <laughs> Does my husky cast StarCraft? That's awesome. <laughs> you guys are right. We can bring back the husky cast. Or what? Does husky even still around? Oh, you like jumped on like the latest mobile thing or whatever. I'm not sure what he does. Well, if my fiance wasn't sleeping and had to wake up in an hour for work, I would get the husky to make noise on the cast. She's whoa, very whoa, 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 why? What did your fiance do that she has to wake up at 3 in the morning for? Uh, she, she works at a hospital. Oh, okay. And, uh, she, she works in the lab, so they have to process all the, um, all the, like, stuff they, samples they take from bodies before the doctors get in. Oh. Okay. Yeah, so she works, like, 4 to, 4 to 1 every day. Gotcha. Yeah, that's insane hours. But at least she has, like, the whole afternoon to do stuff. Alright. But she has to go to sleep at like 6 then. Yeah, she goes to bed at 9 every day. That's pretty... Oh. That's not terrible, but not still, terrible, it's not yeah. about sleep. Yeah, it's not Guys, just don't go into the medical field. Become a programmer like XKCD and, uh, and I. Yeah. Software development. Yeah! Software development. And speaking of pro gamers, not programmers, We've got game number five here for Movie vs. Free on Circuit Breaker. The yeah. countdown has just finished. Where are they going to spawn? All right. Game number five. The deciding map here, ladies and gentlemen. And that's the yellow Protoss on the bottom left. We're going to have... Free! Okay, it's going to be free once again. We're going to have Movie as the red Protoss on the top right. It, it's because they, they ally free every time. That mm. free is yellow. That is... Actually, you're right. So they, they didn't do ally colors on uh, Heartbreak Ridge, though. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. No, yeah, you're right. I think you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But this is the same spawns as the last game, so... Even though the map does going to play itself to be more macro-oriented, because that 6 and 12 is going to be very easy for either player to take. So, who knows? I think again, this isn't a great reaver reaver drop map, um, so I don't think that we're going to see reaver drops on this. Uh, DTs are definitely a possibility as an opener. Uh, I wouldn't take that one away, but but we might see uh, you know a, a different gate variations, I guess. Mm -hmm. You know, I think like when you have the game five, you know, pressure's completely on. Like, I think both players are just going to play it safe just for the sake of playing it safe. So right. So even if it's a little bit boring early on, we're we're gonna see pretty standard openings here. You know, I'm okay with that because as long as I get my late game macro PvP, I love it. Exactly. 
It's really quite a thing of beauty. All you late game TV tier snobs. Oh, the difference between a good late game TVT and the boring late game TVT. That's com completely dependent on the players. Right. Would you rather which which mirror matchup would you like to have watch thirty minutes of? CBZ, so I can actually learn something. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing to learn about late game. Oh, TV. there is, there is, man. <laughs> you don't understand. <laughs> Because if it's 1% chance that you ever go to late game CDZ, then there's no point in learning anything. <laughs> mm -hmm. And we're going to see... This is very interesting. For you guys, you're going to go for... Like we see here, we went for the earlier scout. I think they're like a gateway scout, whereas movie has opted to not scout at all. Hmm. I, think, I think one cool thing about late game PvP, though, is it shows you more about uh, your your engagement decision making and less about your unit decision making. Whereas, like in a TBT, you could you could see either transitions to starport or different types of factory union units. Whereas, like these gateway core uh, armies from PVP, you just you know what they're going to consist of, and it's however many high templars you can pump out along with you know assisting units. Mm -hmm. But where they choose to engage and attack on the map and do their skirmishes, drops, that's all like really telling. Right. No, Moldy, what are you doing? Oh, moving that Zell out of position on the ramp, gonna let that probe inside so Free's gonna get all the beautiful information. Seeing that range upgrade going down, this is gonna be that three gate robo. The robo's gonna finish up, he's gonna drop down two more gates inside of his base. Just press H. One button. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, if you're not going to send a probe out and you're going to have the zealot block your own ramp, just press the button H on the keyboard. It does wonders in this situation. I mean, that probe's going to die, but like this is like humongous information for free, though, like just knowing exactly what we be doing. Even though it's not exactly telling, it's just something. Well, Movie doesn't have a scout at all. He is going in the correct direction now, right. but he still hasn't seen what is going on inside of Free's base. Oh. It's kind of scary to be in the dark. Oh, and he's going to continue to stay that way. So apparently he's got to be his gun. He's actually going to meet uh, Free to gun, so he knows where Free's at. And the nice thing for Free is that he took like four pot shots at uh, Moves Jugun, but I don't think that's going to be enough to take any of Moves Mo Mo Jugun's armor. So let's, I think if Moves would just let the shields regenerate, he'll be fine. But we're going to see Moves drop on extra two gateways in his, inside his own main base here. So we're going to see that three gate robo happening. Wondering what. What freeze response is going to be? Right. Is there going to be another three gates as well? We're going to see mirror builds for once. Ah, uh, this gateway one. Scroll down, please. Observer, observer. You can do it. <laughs> oh, they never see let you see what you want to see. So, okay, we are seeing the robotic support bay, and uh, that's kind of an interesting choice here because. I mean, I guess the mineral line is exposed if you're able to just do a straight north shot to uh, drop on top of uh, Movie's mineral line, but still, it's going to be really difficult. He's got a scouting pylon in the right spot, too, to detect any any drops from the top right of his main base. I don't see it doing damage, except for if you're just going to go add it in with the army. You know, if you're just right. going for reavers for army support, then that's a good choice. Right, I mean, and, move, and Free did allow himself to go that route because he also got the observer, observer bait at the same time. So, if this right. river drop doesn't do that much, he can always back off immediately and try to yeah. defend for it, his dear life. Reavers are generally the standard that you go with with this uh, robo first and, oh. and just use it to allow to you, yourself to take a natural base. They're going to meet each other in the middle of the map here. We're actually gonna, and Free's actually going to see that. Free, what are you doing? If Free gonna be so balls, he sees the entire army movie move out across the map. He's gonna have the balls to expand in front of him. Wow! All right. Interesting. And we're actually gonna see movies probe as his natural right now. Gonna be poised to take that expansion at the same time. We're gonna see Nexus come down for both players right now. And there's a reaver out for Free though at the natural. Let's see if it's gonna be enough to hold on this uh, push here. And I think Movie's just going to be poking. I don't think he can do any real damage now that the Reaver's out for free. And he does have that nice uh, spread out as well. There is a Zealot behind that Dragoon's, and I think he just fixed it right now. Yep, he did. 
Alright, looks like uh, Moody's gonna start to engage here right now. It's gonna be Dallas pulled off the line and engaging right now. That Raven needs to do more shots actually. PC Dagger, where are you at? Oh, I'm watching this. Yeah, watching. And I don't think that this is a good move in for Moody. These Dragoons, uh, they're not going to be able to get in on top of that Reaver without the cost of a really nicely placed Scarab. So it's going to force them back here. The Natural coming down for Movie, so this is going to be really good for him at least. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think that we might end up working into a late game scenario here because this attack didn't do anything for Movie. Uh, that is a good point to make there, BC Dagger. And but it looks like the Nexus is not just finished for free though. He's going to be able to main here if someone has probes over. And it looks like the Nexus should be finishing at the same time for Movie. It is... Almost done. Just a couple seconds behind. That's not too bad for either players. So now, now that both players now have their natural bases established, like what's the game plan for both players now? Movie does have the uh, gateway advantage. He did build those three gateways early on, and he now does. Looks like both players are now in equal tech. So both players seem to have like three gateways. Have their reavers out. Right. And they're gonna see some reaver drops, or are we just gonna see these reavers used as a. Uh, I, th I, th I think it's so important to keep your Reavers alive and maintain your shuttle at this point that if any of them goes for a drop, it would just be completely insane. <laughs> mm -hmm. Right. Well, I like this. This is a good decision by Movie. He's actually going to put that forward pylon next to his bridge just to mess up some of Free's uh, target firing. Good, good idea. Yeah, that, that's always a good idea. You want to make sure that you can just soak up any additional hits you can. Because if you're not uh, babysitting your units, they're going to auto-attack those buildings. There is no attack priority. I don't know if you guys are familiar in StarCraft 2. People actually complained because units would attack particular units first. So now there's a priority queue for attacking. Oh my god. That's laziness. <laughs> it is. It's, it's... Oh boy. Alright, let's just get back to the game here. We're going to see, uh, Free's going to put a pile on there, actually, in the in next to his uh, 6 o'clock base. That's probably just going to be a scouting for any uh, potential shuttle drops, whether it be Reaver drops or high time, time play drops. And it looks like Free's going to lose his observer inside of movie's base here. That's not too good. I don't think he actually saw that forge coming up for movie there. He didn't note that there is no, uh, Templar tech yet coming out. You're gonna see the Templar archives uh, finishing up for free here. He's gonna have to sit that out down already, so that leg speed should come in handy pretty soon. And I like this movement with free here, having a couple of dragoons inside his own main base just to be careful of any shell drop. This is the one thing that could set him back immediately. Yeah, I agree. And uh, so. Mm -hmm. Are you gonna say something? Hello? <laughs> Guys, did we lose Beast Dagger right now? Alright, ladies and gentlemen, we lost Beast Dagger for a little bit. I'm going to keep casting right now. I'm, I'm actually too afraid to open up the, uh, the Skype. <gasps> I have to do it. I have to go for it. Are you back? Hello? 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 Secret chat here, ladies and gentlemen. Looks like we lost him, actually, so we're just going to keep close solo casting for a little bit. Skype crash, actually, for him. This is not good, so... Beast, you get back in here as quick as soon as possible. So, actually, let's just continue on the game right now. So, we're going to actually see... Maybe we're going to start adding his macro gates right now, and now they're probably actually willing to take their third. It's just to see that... It's just posed to play very defensively. I like the... Oh, whoa. That a DT going to be able to sneak itself into the natural right now. There is no observer! Oh, there can be three... Three probe kills. Four probe kills. Five, six, seven. Wow. Eight. Wow, wow. that was ridiculous. That was an amazing DT. Oh my gosh. Oh and my goodness. If you're not aware, my Skype crashed and then updated. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. That would suck to do if you didn't like a Skype interview. It's like, yeah. Like abruptly, I had to update Skype, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> but that that's like a 92 probe, and oh, I like this forward pylon there for free at the uh, fourth for move at the fourth of movie. It's nicely done. Because in case movie can try to expand there with just a probe, like he got to kill it off. That's going to signal the free immediately that movie can expand there. But yet, even though both players are playing defensively, there's neither player making the motion that they want, they want to take their thirds right now. And movie actually needs to revalue some of those gateways, right? 
So, well, how how come Free hasn't taken a third by now? That's that's my question. You know, even that mineral only is something that's pretty obtainable. And I, I think that he has the advantage to be able to take a third. Yeah, he does have those two high tempos right now, so he does have at least two storms available to him. It looks like now, I think now that just every, all of his upgrades is finished, you know, at the same time, like, he's just going to start pushing across the map here. Yeah. And, and I don't like this. No upgrades for a movie at this time in the game. Right. And movie actually has half his army split on like across above that third and has half of his natural here. So that's like oh, free for the first engagement here. This ramp. Very interesting. He doesn't have the Reavers in a really good spot. But one of them almost got Oh, him. this is not good. Free just lost both of the Reavers. They're actually going to snipe that. Takes completely out. Oh, nice storm there coming out for free there. Oh, nice, beautiful storm coming out for free there. And a third storm as well. This is going to be very nice for free. And a fourth storm too. Free actually had four storms the entire time. I thought he had two. Those are great storms, but but losing those Reavers was kind of, uh, you know, not not very good play by Free. Right. I think I think that he could have uh, handled this engagement a lot better here, but this flank for movie is doing really solid, just powering through those storms, and it looks like it will be able to combat free and push him back. Right. And it looks like it looks like free's actually gonna be forced to pull his high tempo bracket. There's no way he's gonna be able to reinforce in time here, and even though we have some nice high storms, like you said, it's just the movie just had simply a good flank going on, and to make bat, 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 sorry matters even better, the high ground man. We've been talking yeah. about it all night. Well, what it looked like is that Free was actually going to take a third. But instead, he confidently moved out and thought, okay, I'm going to win this battle, which mm -hmm. he didn't win. And now he's in a, in a bad situation here. Yeah, but he couldn't even take the third because Movie moved a, a probe over to uh, that third base location right where the Nexus would need to be placed. Mm -hmm. And it actually blocked the Nexus from be being able to go down. Oh, uh, Movie oh. has a huge army, army advantage here, and I would love to see him apply pressure, which it looks like he's doing uh. his army all the way down to the bottom left. These DTs aren't going to get anything done because there is an observer in the way, mm -hmm. and that's just a lot of minerals and gas thrown away. All right. Free. It looks like uh, Free was trying to do some assassination there. And it looks like, oh my goodness, the oh, DT, where's the observer? He's going to lose one high time bar there. It's really risky here. There's still four high time bars with him, so he's going to hold off for, for a time being, but... His third is completely open for the taken. Is Movie would have lost back? his entire army if he tried to go across that bridge. You think so? Yes. Well, yeah, no yeah, yeah, definitely, for definitely for sure. But I'm wondering if Movie could have actually pushed him to third from like that high ground, like plateau. Yeah, if he walked all the way down though, his army could be caught in a very bad position down at the bottom and get contained down there. Uh, which is something that you don't want to be way too far because your core army, really, there's nothing else securing your natural and your main. Mm -hmm. You don't want to bring it too far away on such a large map on like Circuit Breaker. Right, and looks like Free's actually going to try to come back into this game right now with the shell right now. I'm going to have no idea what's inside the shell. That's going to be a high top. Oh my goodness, high top! Storm! Wow, that was nice. Taking out that left half of probes at the natural base, and now there's one more shuttle going into the oh. main base. Oh, this is a scatter. The Chinese fire drill is real as the probes <laughs> try and run away inside of that main base. Oh my goodness, that, that, that's the one combat that Free could have made. That was the best combat he could have ever make right now. A completely demolishing movie's economy. He has just lost so many probes. I think he has at least like, 15, like 10, 15 probes maybe. And he still yeah, has to sell it inside of the main his entire base. entire army back to the main and natural. He, he completely to. lost any map control that he held, and Free with his third base is going to have a nice advantage here. So we're looking at the supply count. It does look like there is a 20 supply lead, and like we saw in Heartbreak Ridge, that 20 supply lead is significant, and it's going to make a difference here as there's a possible new engagement, oh and my the goodness. high ground advantage is in Free's favor. Oh, he's going across that bridge. And, and he's going to get to go for a little surround here, actually. Oh, nice shot coming out for movie there. Actually, it looks like... For the movie's actually going to push him to the main he's, doing, he's handling the back first before he handles the front, but he gave away the high ground! Oh, he this is not good. Free needs to back off immediately right now. The movie has actually still two shuttles and a lot of Archons with Zealots here. Bad. Where are the storms? Oh, where are the storms for Free? Free needs to do some storm burn. Nice storm on the side, top of the arc, shot Reavers. Oh, nice engagements. The are getting low, but one more storm until they can get taken out. It's like storming on Lurkers. You need two solid storms to deal with that. Right. Free, Free's army still, he has a decent supply count, but, but most of that is actually towards probes instead of army. Right, and but here's the thing, the Free does have the defensive advantage, so as long as he can still clean this up without losing his, his uh, third and actually he should be able to like win out the game, simply due to count. 
I think he's actually gonna lose oh, Nexus. Moving target part of Nexus. Nice shots off on not just the Probes, but the Nexus. Why does he, he target the Nexus down? Instead, he's gonna apply pressure here. He does have more units across the bridge. Oh my goodness! It looks like it's a high time. I don't think we're gonna get one storm off, but those Reavers are still doing so much damage. That was a pretty oh, nice play coming in from from free though. The couple dragoons there. He's he gonna target fire that shuttle. He needs to target fire either shuttle or something. Wow! If he just target fired that Reaver, it would be dead by now. But instead. Oh, he did end up losing those dragoons. The DT is out, actually. Ah, oh, GG! <gasps> oh man, Movie! What a what a mistake by Movie to continue to pressure there at the natural, knowing that defender's advantage is so strong. Right. I think Movie could definitely should have. He could have definitely killed that third nexus. It would have given at least him some. Like, exactly. A little if bit he something back. That Nexus and all those probes. He could have, uh, you know, even the game out, set everything back to zero, basically. Right. And, and then contested for third bases. Right. And like and he's like so. I mean, you have. I mean, it is. He didn't make the correct judgment call. Like losing all those probes to those storm drops. Like even though he saw it coming like a mile away with that pylon at the ninth, right? Right. But just over committing. Like he want. He completely demolished Freed's army outside that third. He should have just killed that third Nexus off and back off immediately. Because, like you said, the defender's advantage. I mean, all free knows that as long as he doesn't lose his right. next natural, he's like, he can just keep rallying units into whatever movie he has with him. So he's got that, that economy advantage. He should be able to out macro movie in a short time. So now the question is, movie he's advancing to play a Zerg player. Can he master his Corsair control to deal with a player as good as Hero in PvZ? It's going to be a very difficult match for him in this uh, semi-finals. <laughs> ah, of course they're control. I know. Him and Tyson, they just they joined the group of, I can control Corsairs. Corsairs. <laughs> so. Yeah, no, Midnight Park, alright. He was like, he was 15 probes behind, right? But if you kill off that third, like, movie had the higher army count, but if you kill off that third, you still be able to kill off some of the probes that were there, so it's, it's, you're going back to that two base, two base, two base thing, right? And yeah. it's not too bad. Like you can still like macro up and just take your expansion a little bit later than your opponent. Yeah, but, and he had the shuttle reaver combo still alive. It's not right? like he lost all of his, his uh, tech. Right. And and the and the taking down of that third base. Right. I don't know. I feel like Piano thought it was an all or nothing situation, and I don't believe it was, or we don't believe it was. No. So. I mean, they can definitely can be analyzed, like, on the Team Liquid forums. I mean, right. I mean, more other people definitely have their say of what happened in that game. So, it looks like they're just showing, um, previewing the fact that it's going to be Bisu versus Mind, the semifinals. Yeah, I don't like the fact that they're, re they're, re they're redoing, like, two maps twice. Like, a map twice. I don't like that. Yeah, I agree. I, I think they should introduce, like, a fifth map, whatever it is. If we're gonna have an interview by free though, so I'm just gonna let's just be quiet for a little bit so that translator has something to translate from it. Oh, we do have a translator? I don't know, do we? No, we don't have a We don't? No, we never have a translator. <laughs> so I'm just gonna call it quits for tonight. Yeah, that went longer than I expected in two hours. Yeah, you, you predicted one hour, so I mean, it was worth That's it. That's why. It was a pretty good PvP series, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I can't pretty lie. solid. <laughs> Well, uh, thank you guys for listening. Uh, we're going to be seeing you on the 12th, so a week from now. Uh, if you feel like you really like the games and you want to watch them again, there will be a sale rebroadcast of the games. He will be casting live later today. Mm -hmm. um, otherwise, catch our VODs, and we will be seeing you next Wednesday. Sweet. Yep. All right, thanks everyone, for, thanks everyone for watching. I'm going to close the stream now, and... Uh, We'll see you guys around. Oh, don't forget to uh, check, come back this Saturday for the uh, TLC number three. That's TLC right. number three is coming up. Don't forget to register for that. A weekly $100 uh, tournament. Great fun. It's for... a $300. Get in there, guys. Yeah. It's so easy to win that money. It is. <laughs> All you have to do is win the finals. Yeah, just figure out a way to beat Scan and you're good to go. Oh, he's he's like chump change in that tournament. There's oh, so many jumper. better people that you gotta worry about. Jumper is in there. Mm -hmm. Solid player. Who else? Mm -hmm. G five back in there. G five. That that's that's a high score. <laughs> is there. 
You gotta figure out a way to BM Julio. Mm -hmm. And there you go. Julio. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, All that's right. gonna be it for us. Uh, thanks for watching, everyone, and I hope you guys have a good night, good morning, good afternoon, wherever you are. And we will see you guys.